Nah, bro, I nuked that shit. I nuked that shit. You crazy. You said the clip is gone. Yes, sir, that clip is gone. I nuked the fuck out of that shit. Bro, it was... It, yo! It was straight just a girl deep throating somebody. Bro, I'm... I'm over here looking for memes. And it's, and it was a clip of a girl deep throwing a dick. You said clip it again. It's impossible. The VOD's gone, bro. Bro, she straight deep throwing. You say, yo, let someone save the VOD. It's gone already. What the fuck you mean? What you mean? The VOD's gone. I deleted that shit in sonic speed. That VOD is gone. I deleted that shit. I deleted that shit quick. Link. You said link? Bro, I ain't posting. Well, you want to see the link of what I saw? All right, give me a second, bro. Hold on. I'm trying to make sure this shit don't pop up on screen. I'm posting that shit on Discord. This is what the hell I just saw. Hold on. I'm posting that shit on Discord. Because y'all horny ass motherfuckers and y'all want to see the shit. Let me see if I find it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to scroll all the... Oh my God. Hold up. Here. I got it right now. I I, I got it. Bro, this shit... So, yo, this shit surprised me. Bro, I can't do shit on Twitter, bro. Twitter Twitter is so dangerous. This is why I, I, I just go to the... That's why I made a community section. You said, oh, it was under the Cardi post. Yes, hold on. I'm about to post it right now on Discord. I'm about to post it in Discord in the NSFW section. If you're not old enough to see it, you better not be seeing that shit. I ain't nobody's parent. Give me one second. I'm going right now to the NSFW section on Discord. It's going to be posted, I guess, in in real life and cosplay. It's very inappropriate in there. If you're not of age, do not go in. I'm posting this shit right now. There it is. That's what the fuck popped up on my shit. I, I just posted it. Now I'm getting the fuck out of this section before this shit gets me banned. Hold on. That's what the fuck I saw. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting the fuck out of all this uh, this this ridiculous. All right, all right. Okay. You said, why is there a black screen? Because I'm covering everything. I'm trying not to get in trouble. I legit, I legit almost got banned because of this stupid shit. I was literally minding my own business scrolling down Twitter and girl just straight up giving this man the suck. Um, okay, I think we're good now. Holy shit, bro. Oh my god, dude, it's... Bro. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm making sure this shit don't pop up ever again. I was about to show the screen and, and the freaking shit was right there. You said, nah, the dick's small. I don't give a fuck about the dick size, bro. It's still a dick. <laughs> He said, no, that dick's small. I don't care. Bro, it's still a dick. All right, we're back. Jesus Christ, man. Twitter Twitter got me catching a heart attack, bro. Oh my goodness, man. The audio is choppy. Audio is crinkly, how? Which audio, it, my microphone? You said, bro, did you delete the last stream? I had to delete the last stream. There was a whole girl giving this man the God God 3000 in the middle of the fucking woods. Shit. The game audio? Y'all wanted me to keep the VADA, bro? I would've got me banned. Okay, let me deactivate and then reactivate it. How's the audio now? better oh yeah yeah bro got me catching a heart attack yeah twitter is dangerous twitter is dangerous
Okay. You said go back. I missed the crunchy noises. All right, give me a second. You said where's chat? Right there in the bottom. I wonder if people actually got banned because of Twitter stuff all the time. All the time people get banned. I think, um, there, remember there was a time where, where Pokimane was streaming and somebody in the Discord posted a huge dick in that shit? Or somebody accidentally linked like a website where she just clicked it and it just popped up and she had to take it down from the stream? Yo, it's, it's, it's scary, bro. That shit happens, that shit happens all the time. You just gotta be quick with putting that shit away and deleting the shit because you don't wanna get banned for that shit. <clears throat> Bro, she was giving the dude the straight Gawk Gawk 3000 in the fucking woods, bro. Why was that clip even there? I was looking for Playboy Cardi memes and all I see is a penis. You said, ain't no one answering the damn question. You said, bro, we're in Discord. Damn, bro, you horny. <laughs> he said, nobody's answering the damn question. <laughs> Where is the clip? <laughs> Where is the sauce? It's in the NSFW section, bro. Where is the sauce? I said... Where is the sauce? Yo, Jessica. Jessica Negri keeps posting up these freaking Pokemon cosplays. She got to stop. Yo, I want more coffee, bro. You said it's a self Twitter promo. That's what it is. Whoa! So wait, wait. Was it like a? Was it like a? Like a promo? Like, like, hey, you want to follow me on on freaking OnlyFans? I got content like this. All right. Probably. You should have hit her up in the DMs. True. I should have been like, how much? Some absurd ass price. 500. I would have been like, ha, psych. You talking about 500 doubloons, right? 500 money from Kingdom Hearts? My book, please help me. All right, here we go. Content, content. Oh, yeah, we had to sink. Is that an order? Yes. And I suppose I have no choice. My mission is to support you. All right. We don't have a lot of time. Let's get moving. Okay. Date, this device is a prototype. It is not identical to the one at Abyss. You said that already, so what? I do not know how to reset it. There must be a manual of some kind. A manual? We need to find that before we begin. We gotta find the manual? Bro, she gonna be dead. By the time we try anything, she's gonna be dead. the open ceiling bro 
bro. I'm about to fight Iba. Iba, aren't you a robot? This is the console that controls the sync machine. So if we use this... The machine can be activated, but we need the manual first. Shelf. Bitch, then go to the shelf. Oh my god, what the fuck do they want me to press? They just told me that the sh bro. Didn't they just say that the manual's there? Found it. Yo, it's like the manual is like this tiny ass pixel spot you have to press. Holy shit. She dead already. I don't believe it. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Bro, I got a plancha in my face. Shovel Forge again? Fuck, not Shovel Forge. Uh, can we dance? This looks kind of like the other time I synced with Iris, but there's a different atmosphere now. Hmm. By the way, what happened to your usual appearance? I decided to hold back this time. This is no time to be playing around. Putting that aside, you want to help Iris, correct? Then we need to hurry. So what do we need to do? Care to ask the owner of this world? Oh. She's lost consciousness, even in her own Somnium. That proves how critical her condition is. Whoa! What was that? <clears throat> I do not know, but it appears as though we have no choice but to believe those words. The fruit of immortality, huh? But I don't see any fruit. We need to do something about this beam of light first. I've seen that monument before, but back then... Do we pick it up and then put it on the beam of light? Somnium scan! Activate! This shit zut zut. Bro.
Okay. Okay. Hmm. An egg-shaped monument. Looks more like a sugar cube to me. <clears throat> Let's place it on the pedestal. Here cuts off the light. I feel like I've seen this in a movie. Don't you mean you've seen this in Iris's Somnium? Just put it down. Hmm? Didn't expect that. I no, a star? this is. I see. Did you figure something out? might turn into a pentagram oh i get hey, it yo. that means pentagram now yes. i'm not messing with satan that leaves this remaining <clears throat> hmm. a chozuya stick your hand in the choice in the chozuya Mm. Let's stick our hand in the Chozuya. Hmm. There's something here. Oh my god. Oh. A monument. If you place it against the light, it will complete the pentagram. Do it. What? Oh no, the enemies. They have appeared before. It may symbolize Iris's insecurities. Whoa! God damn! We have to deal with them before we find the fruit of immortality. Well, what do you want me to do? They don't want us to complete the pentagram. Is that why they attacked the Chozuya and Iris's? But this pedestal has not been attacked. They cannot attack it for some reason. You think so? What other explanation could there be? As long as there is even a slight possibility, we must try. Right. Thinking about what worked previously, we need to make a pentagram, but the attack has scrambled everything. We do not have time for trial and error. Think carefully. Bro, what? He did something about the beam of light. First, let's go with the colors. A pedestal. Bro, 50 seconds, dude? No! We had a monument. A pedestal with Place it. Upsie Daisy! What does that mean? I was merely trying to lighten the mood. I appreciate the thought, but. Oh. Okay. This is so confusing. I didn't do anything. Where does the beam of light originate from? <clears throat> Where does the beam of light originate from? Blue on blue. Red on red. Hmm. Hold on, chat. I gotta think. Let me eat some of my trolley worms. Beam of light is not present. A 
Dog statue. so many blue monuments um there's a blue pedestal this is very confusing there's a lot of blue pedestals blue pedestal a pedestal with nothing on this is so confusing understood Pentagram is complete. No, the fuck it's not. What? Why Damn. isn't it working? The pentagram is complete. The placement of the monuments must be incorrect. You cannot call it a true pentagram if the shape at the very least. The placement needs to be symmetrical. Got it. I'll try again. It has to be symmetrical. <laughs> so this one is hard though because i'm trying to remember where did it start from so the beam came from here it hit the middle right here then it went here no then it went um You kind of have to like mentally create said thing. I wish you could like zoom out. <sighs> Cause it goes there, then it goes here. Bam, bam. Bam. Dog. What happens if you investigate it? A guardian. Right, but what did you say? Nothing. I have no... If we had a monument... If we had a monument, we could place it there?
Oh, I'm telling you, parents love to call when I'm live. When I'm not live, nothing. A pedestal. I can't place the monument there. Can I place the monument on the dog? A guardian. Understood. Oh my god, I got no time. I got no time. An egg shape. I can't even pick. Can I pick it up? Understood. Where would you like me to place it? Date. No, no, we can't. Iris. Oh my God. You said parents be cock watching. Oh my God, bro. Look, what I need is an overhead view of this map because I feel like I don't know. I don't know what I'm necessarily doing. I have to just have like a... I gotta fuck up again so I can see how it goes. So... Star starts here. Bam. Then this shit's gonna go over here. I'm just thinking about it in my head. Pick up. They put this shit here. A pedestal. Understood. You said there's a map you can use? A pedestal. There is a map. Bam, bam. Oh my god. How is this pentagram supposed to look though? Oh, this is going to be complicated. <clears throat> you said an octagon? We're not doing an octagon, we're doing a pentagon. Not an octagon. How many... A pentagram is supposed to, have a, it's supposed to be a star. Hold on, I gotta actually draw it out and then I have to put it on the screen. Um, if I put the shit here, like... But that's gonna be a half-ass pentagram, though. but this is going to be so half-assed because the beam comes from the middle right the beam initially comes the, does the beam go down the middle or does the beam start where the um where you put the where you put the first gold cube
so confusing. crunchy ones. That was a waste of time. A guardian. Stupid. I don't think I don't think even an egg. Under square. This shit gonna be dumb. A pedestal. Up see. What is that? I was near. I appreciate the oh. is complete. What? Why is my work? I wish it stayed. Is complete. The placement of the monuments, you cannot call it a, at the very least. The I wish I... Got bro, it. It's, it does, bro, I can't even talk. This shit shows it so quickly. Like, I want to see... Maybe the blues are supposed to be... Maybe the blues are supposed to be in this. They're supposed to all be parallel to each other. So... This being here... Same thing with this one. A guardian dog. Put these shits here. A pedestal. Okay. The pentagram's complete. What? Oh my god, what the, the world fuck is, is that? It's breaking down. She dying.
The Shovel Forge world disappeared. I am back to my usual appearance. That means that she's dead. What about Iris? It appears that she is unharmed. Give the fruit of the Tokiji Kuno Kaku, for you shall then be blessed with eternal life. The Mandarin fruit? Iba, the door to the shrine opened. Bro, that's Is that a piece the of fruit poop. of immortality. That's a piece of poop. It appears to be the seed of a citrus fruit of some kind, but we need the actual fruit. That voice said something about the fruit of immortality. I wasn't expecting it to be literal. Some believe that the fruit of immortality is a Tachibana orange. Yo, we gotta speed it up. Like, y'all talking about fruit? She about to die. The Tachibana orange comes from a variety of evergreen trees. Oh my god, no me diga. So, we are looking for some kind of fruit. This is the only sparkly thing in there. Fruits have edible flesh surrounding the seeds. Right, but if we only have the seed... This is a dream world. If we plant it now, it may grow quickly. Aiba. You ready to slash and burn? I see. If we plant it there... Uh, if we plant it there, now what? Nah. It's sprouted. We gotta hurry up. This must be a positive sign. With the ashes as compost, then all we need is... Some water. Some ice cold water. What the fuck? We need crystal water. It's a Chozuya. Why is it not broken? Wait a minute. I don't want to dig it. Is there a bucket? What the fuck is that? Pedestal? Bell? Pedestal front? What's up with this one? What the fuck is that in there? Is that a jewel? I don't freaking know. They're both identical. Bro, I don't want to dig water. Okay. It's a chozu. Alright, dig. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, bro. You do know this is not the Shovel Forge world, correct? Pendeja. But there's a pickaxe on the ground there. Pickaxe? Wow, Minecraft? You're right. Come get but your man. Why? Maybe Iris left it behind because she wanted you to use it. Perhaps. I'll use it. Damn, I didn't say go crazy. Now it's raining. It's raining. Get the fruit. Put it in her mouth. So this is the fruit of immortality. We need to hand this over to Iris. Right. Hurry. Wait for me, Iris. I'm coming. the fruit Iris is unconscious she's unconscious what the fuck do I do wake her up with the bell I hit her with the yeet bell oh that was a bell I thought it was a Castella donate money Pray. Bro, I got 37 seconds left. If this shit if this shit cucks me. 
Please, game, stop freezing. Stop it, OBS, you fucking garbage piece of shit app. Fuck. I'm about to put it in her mouth like Celebi. Eat the fruit. Zombie, bro. Thank you. Is she I? supposed to be done yeah. bro put her the fuck down tie her up tie her up yeah. yo Iba you told me to fucking give her the fruit I gave her the fruit no the fuck you didn't look at this bitch she burned the fuck out foam is coming out her mouth yeah. bro just just tie her up tie her up what about boss fuck boss she haven't been here like segment two she been gone what about pewter fuck him too his weird ass Doing all types of sus shit, kidnapping her, bring her to a warehouse. I don't know what the fuck going on in this game anymore. What about MoMA? Bro, her eyeball! Oh, good. You're awake. Everything you've done for me. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh my goodness, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna die, aren't I? What happened to her eye? No. Don't talk crazy. Chad, don't cry. I'm not crying. I synced with you to save you. This has to be the timeline where you live. I don't wanna die yet. I don't wanna die. I, I met you. I wanted to spend more time with you. I wanted to go places. What the fuck happened? I'll take you. I'll take you wherever you want. I'll take you to Ijeru, Kunishir, Shikaton, Habamai. Anywhere you want, Iris. Really? Yes. I, I'm gonna be okay. Of course. You won't die, I promise. Okay. Don't say that to her. She's about to die, bro. I'm glad. I'm not gonna die. I can be with you forever. Of course you can. You're gonna live, Iris, forever and ever. You'll become a grown woman, get married, have kids. I'll even babysit them for you. Kate, thank you. These past few days have been so much fun. I'm so confused. What the fuck happened Please, to her eyes? is so warm, Mr. Date. Yo, Iris, you had to relax, bro. I'm trying not to get arrested. It feels like I've met you before. Then go on a date with me. And the Greek goddess of rainbows.
You're the only person I can trust. What happened with, yeah, with, with all this organization of the Illuminati? Dante! Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Fuck, she beat me, bro. Dante, can you tell me one last thing? I've been... Looking. Are you Bro? No, no, Iris. Oh, we you got a bad tell. ending. Please, Iris. We got the worst Iris. ending. <laughs> now my son Dante <gasps> crying. Iris! Bro, I thought we did everything right. Where the fuck is Iba? Is she in my eye? What happened to her eye? What happened to Pewter? What the fuck happened to her? Bro, there's so much unanswered questions. So this was a route. Alright, we done with the game chat. Um, thank you for coming through. Um, AI Somnium files, um, many questions, no answers. Um, I guess we're ready to play the next one. Um gonna make a GoFundMe goal so we could get the next installment of the game and just play it. Um we have no idea what the fuck happened. Credits is rolling, so you already know what the fuck is going on. Rest in peace, Bogo. <laughs> Bogo Bozo. You know that one image of that guy in the suit on Twitter? Rest in peace, Bozo, with his legs crossed. He's like this. Rest in peace, Bozo. Date's voice actor, I was feeling, I was feeling that emotion. He said, Iris, I'll take you wherever you want to go. Really, Date? Yeah, I'll take you. I'll take you to the arcade, and we can see Shinya there and beat his ass in fucking House of the Dead 3. And then we could go to Aki, the Akihabara, and, 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 and we could see fucking this guy, what, what was his name? You said it yourself, if there's credits, you finish the game. No, 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 man. I'm actually interested. I want to see what the fuck's gonna happen in the story, man. Bro, I want some more coffee. didn't die bro yeah what was that other timeline with the polar bear killing ota and killing her yo there's mad questions bro and then and then um and then renju wasn't dead in this timeline he wasn't in the hook in the mouth also uh, like yo there's so many questions There ain't no way people watch Squid Game in the English dub. You know what's crazy? I did. I watched Squid Game in the English dub. It wasn't even that bad in the English dub. Actually, by the way, you can skip this. No skip. There you go, Travis. No boots. No skip.
Iris route. That was the Iris route? Silver trophy. Damn, Iris route was bad. Would you like to save? Yes, I would like to fucking save. But now what? This is one of those games like um like um the nonary game 999 where there's like multiple endings and then to get the full conclusion of the story to fully understand everything you have to constantly like now go back and play all the other routes so psh, this was a shitty ass route and, and and look how empty this shit looks man there's so much other shit that i did not see so i'm here We've done this. For some reason in this part? No, 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 no. There was a split somewhere. There was not a split here. There was a split here. Yes, there was a split here. You want to go for that split? We could go back here and try to go for this split. And there was also another split here. Classified. It's locked. To proceed, you must play through more of the story. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to do something with boss and her dick sucking lips. Um. I kind of want to see what this split is but what did we have to do within this story we had to go inside play shovel forge and there was something oh oh yes 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 there was two ones where it says trust iris and do not trust iris okay let's go back here and let's not trust iris begin the sink No, no simping in this run. Yes, we're just gonna straight up. Iris is gonna be like, believe me. And we're gonna be like, no, you listen here, bitch. I'm not believing your crusty ass. What is this place? Now I'm a tier three sub. And I gifted you a lot of fucking donuts. If you don't shut your bitch ass up and stop lying to me and look me in the eyes, tell me what the fuck is it going is, on here. Uh, difficult to move like this. Why do you look like that? with a simpler look today. I figured this world couldn't handle my full resolution. Guess that's my fine then. Resolution. You can quit if you want, you know. Never! I will never give up! You don't have to take it that far. In any case, it seems that we've finally arrived. Okay, we can skip this through this. Yeah, yeah, true, 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 true. The music like here is fire. Box. All right, so what do I do? First mental lock. I got to go through the wall, if I remember correctly. A door. Dig. First mental lock. Then something about the vending machine. Break, taking the vending machine to get materials. And then we gotta go craft at the table. Um, make the dis- wait. What happens if you make something else? Let's make the disco ball. Oh, I want to hear the song. Teacups 
that are flying on maps mystifying you'll think that i'm hiking this old tale of Split in the third one? Don't do anything else she says. Okay, 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 okay. Dig? Is it on the other side? This appears to be another gate. You say you gotta restart? Go to the zombie, then get the weird item. Oh, fuck. Okay, so, so go back to the, um, lock one. All right, where's the, where's the zombie? Oh, yeah, I remember the zombie was sus. Where does sus zombie? Wait, where's the zombie? didn't need to go back yet. I knew it. You motherfuckers. Where the zombie at? All right, let's make something else. Weren't we supposed to? Yeah. One more done. Does this crafting table even do anything? Let's switch? Let's switch. Let's switch. Just what? The what fuck? are you doing, Date? Fight nice with the power of dance! Date, so this is what nice looks like. It was fake! This is what's behind all this. Was Iris... Lying to me? Iris, you fucking I'm not bitch! Lying. Yes, you are! Project Bluebeam is using holograms to trick you! You can't let it fool you! You have to use the power of dance! You just want huh? me to dance. Oh, look at that! The enemies disappeared! Is this a glitch? I'm not lying! No, your tears will not, your tears will not get me anymore. Your tears will not sway me no more. You it lying witch. You don't All right, she wants me to do something with the plants. Fuck the plants, bruh. Fuck the plants, bruh. Someone's. We going. We, we going. We going. We going. What do we gotta do with this guy? We gotta observe him, or we gotta talk to him. 
We gotta talk to him? Excuse me. <laughs> Not exactly. Yo, who he that? has a familiar face that has a Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what, chat? What do we do? Do we gotta just dig? Now craft? Oh, the NA! Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are the things that we have to craft. There's a craft. Bro, we're losing too much time. What is? I see. You can take advantage of this glitch, Date. But I don't know anything about guitars. I it's said glitch. glitch, not Gretch. I could do that? This game is filled with bugs and programming errors. We can take advantage of that to reveal things not supposed to be seen. I see. Let's try it. Understood. Yo, who the fuck is that? What? It spent the this man material. We can use you? Is it a glitched skill? Oh, I see. How about that? Anything change? The numbers have changed. What, is it August 32nd? No, the pickaxe is level 255. That's pretty extreme. But with this glitched item, we may be able to destroy something we were not supposed to be able to. Something in the game world. Or rather, something Iris doesn't want us to destroy. Oh, let's fuck up that shit over there. We're here, hurry. Wait. Wait, what do we do? Wait, 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 wait. where do we go? What do I hit? The pedestal? There's an entrance behind the monument. Wall? This is a strange wall. I see. I just need to use the pickaxe. You're right. Do it. Leave it to me. Oh, we really hacking. The wall disappeared. This is bloomed? No, this is no miracle. Merely the result of the game's programming changing the iris from wilted to bloom. That can't be. Dante, what are you doing? What about the monument? What about fighting knives? Yo, fuck you, Iris. Tell her that we have the strongest pickaxe. We don't need that. Let's continue. Wait! Dante! No! Don't abandon me! No, fuck you. You were playing with my emotions the whole time. You just wanted to play Shovel Forge, you bitch. Screen? Is it loading? Well, if you need to use the bathroom, now's the time. She said it, not me. Um, chat. Um, um, what? Where's my cup, bro? What? Where's my cup? I'm about to go. I'm about to go to the cup and get some juice. <sighs> oh, she wasn't playing. Where the fuck are we? This is. Is that the town where we went to initially? Golden Yokocho. Not the world of Shovel Forge. This might be Iris's real Somnium. There's nothing here. We have no choice but to move forward. Isn't this where we got shot at? Bro, we got no time. Oh, 
a casino, a pachinko machine. Where do we go? I got 29 seconds. What? Twenty-three seconds. Is this the exit? I mean, I have no other choice. I only got ten seconds left. Let's go in. Oh, fuck. I ran out of time. Back? Hey, look. Oh. What? Pyramid? Nice is close. Date, help me. Please. Iris. Let's help Iris. Let's help her by freeing her from her world of delusion. Reveal the truth hiding inside her imagination, Date. I have no time. It's a pyramid. No! Dig that bitch! Got it. It didn't work. I got an ultimate... I got an ultimate hammer! So it's not invincible. It was taxed to its limit. Date, we... Iris. What? You tell me we had the ultimate pickaxe and now you tell me it don't work. What do I do in that part, chat? Chat, what do I do in that part? You say I gotta do it faster now? Should I just restart? Just speed run it? You wanna restart it from the beginning? Alright, fuck it. Let, let's restart it from the beginning. I'll ask, I'll ask. Just go straight, just go straight. Nothing glowing in there. What the fuck was that? I saw something in there. I'm scared. Is that we made good time? Alright. We made super good time. We made so much good time. Destroy that bitch. Oh, 
fuck is this? Is this Iris when she was a child? And that's her mom. Iris, this is all in your head. You're imagining it. It's not real. No, you're wrong, Dante! Cállate, pendeja. Iba. What? Let's end this. Yeah. So now this is when we go up to her and then we just tell her, hey, you you a little bit weird. Release Iris, release Iris. Iris is core. Believe me! Destroy core. So this is what we have to do, right, chat? We gotta destroy it. Break that shit right in front of her face. Believe me, man, fuck your core. We're killing you for real. That thing there. Uh -huh. Destroy it. Rompelo. No, stop! Cállate. Understood. Break that shit, Please, Iba. Please, stop! Shut the fuck up, son. Give me tight. Back in the house. Where's her hot mom? Wait, that's her when she's young. Kasumi? Oh. Persona? Oh. You didn't believe Iris, bitch ass. Kenzai. Kenzai? Kenzai? Matsushita Diner. Okay, I think I got it. What, Ota, you fucking idiot? So it's like this. Date and Tessa were attacked at Golden Yokocho by a group of unknown gunmen? Yup. No, not unknown! They were hired by Nyes at Laws, also known as Nyes. I found out Nyes' secret, and now they want me dead. Nah, you probably did some other shit. Date, is this for real? It's true that we were shot at by armed gunmen, but the Nyes part... So was she lying about the whole Nyes bullshit? There's no secret organization? skeptical. Bro, does she eat shrooms or some shit? She off the zoo pack? She probably got one of those, like, like, one of those vape pens, but it's not vape inside of it. She probably, like, crushes a little bit of weed and then she puts this in, she puts this inside the vape pen, and then when I'm not looking, she just be like... like gas around here what the hell going on here it's the gas station over there it's the nice it laws the nice it laws nah bitch you high you are high let me look at your eyes 
Iris is lying, maybe even unknowingly. He says she ate two Tide Pods. I'm dead. She believes that she's being targeted by Nice. She sincerely, uh, she sincerely does, but. Date, you don't believe me? No. No. I thought about it carefully more. Iris, let me be honest. Before answering, I think you're letting your imagination get the better of you. True. It's not my imagination. Mentirosa. Why don't you believe me? Because I just saw you die, like, the last route. She'd be like, last route? I'd be like, yeah, last route. I'm breaking the fourth wall, motherfucker. I saw you die two times. Your ass was lying. Dante, you're just being stubborn. You're, you're just a cynical old man who doesn't believe in anything. Now you're calling me an old man. Last route, you were on my dick talking about... Jumpy? Let's see the sunset, Jumpy? Now you're calling me an old man? Then you have to give me proof. If you can't show me proof, I can't believe you. Oh, I shut your ass up. Iris, seriously, you're imagining things. You spit at me, bitch? Date! Oh, uh, Date, what, what are you doing? What I should have done a long time ago. Fine, then. It's stupid to think I could trust you, Date. Bro, you gonna die anyways, huh? Bye. Y tú te vas. En la noche tú sola. Con este malvado gente con 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 la pistola. Tú te vas ahora mismo. Go. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Don't call me when you get shot at. Don't call me when you get shot at, bitch. I said, don't call me when you get shot at. What the fuck you looking at, Ota? Where's your fucking mom? Is there a problem, motherfucker? Well, yeah. What? What, are you gonna grow balls now? Cause you were here by yourself? Bro, say something to me, I swear, bro. I'm knocking the hat off your head off rip. If you make her mad, you make me mad. Son, we, son, son, we go wrestle right now, bro. CQC, bro. bro. I'm about to pick up my pants, bro. Yo, yo, like I'm tired of this, bro. Since the beginning of the game, I'm tired. Yo, fuck, man, I lost my shit. Bro, how, how's this shit gonna go in my ear now? It's, it's fucked up. It's supposed to have the rubber grip. It fell off. Okay, man. Where'd it go? Well, I guess you'll have to be mad then. Tell him. She had to hear the truth. The cold, hard truth. Someone beat this wannabe ass deku ass nigga. Even if that's true, you could have worded it nicer. Nah, bro, she gotta hear the harsh reality. You know what it is? It's it, it's the non-stop years of validation she been getting. And when one dude come up to her and is like, nah, you know what? I'm about to spit the hard facts. No more sugar coats. You bugging out. You are popping out the wazoo. You are crazy. You are a nut job. Now she wanna be mad. I found I found the thingy. You could have handled this better, Date. Nah. I think so as well. Iba. Don't play with me, Iba. I'm a, I'm about to straight up. <sighs> you are as clumsy as ever. Date, you don't believe Tessa, right? Right. You don't believe Nizet Laws exists? Where the proof? No, I don't. Where's the proof? Then why was she almost kidnapped? I don't know, bro. She probably did some shit that we don't know about. She been lying the whole time. She been acting sus the whole time. The fact that we even trusted her all this time is already a red flag in and itself. I don't know. 
but it might have something to do with Renju. Exactly. Renju visited her in the middle of the night. She didn't tell us that. Then she turned off her phone. He was looking for Iris. Exactly. In any case, we don't know who's behind it, but we know she's in danger. Which is why I came here. I need you to hide Iris. What? I need to go somewhere. Yes, you hide her. And then let me do my shit solo with my eyeball. To Hitomi's residence. Oh, we about to go to her mom's house. She. She. She about to put that right arm to work. And I know she holding that shit right now. Like, like, like there's nothing. <laughs> she holding that shit like, oh, that shit ain't working. We about to make that shit work. Yeah. Well, we we're, to we're about to put that shit to work. Where's Iris? There's a room back there she kind of made her own. Nah, She's man, we out of pocket there. this playthrough. This route, we out of pocket. All the uh, all the other routes, we were nice, we were gentlemanly, we were on our Jonathan Joestar. This route, we are out of pocket. The mom's arm, we gonna make that shit move! She certainly made herself at home. Yup. Yeah. Has Iris been back there before? Yeah, Tess has been here a few times. Summarize for me. Hide Iris? I mean, I don't mind, but... We going crazy this route. The organization that I'm in may have a traitor. Mmm. Pewter, yeah, we don't know about Pewter and Boss. So I can't take her to HQ. That, of course, means that I can't take her to my house either. Mm hmm So I thought this diner would be a good place. Yeah. Her enemies wouldn't look for her here. Yup. If she's here with you guys, I know that she's safe. True. <laughs> yup, I know you happy as fuck. You happy as fuck. You right now probably trying to trying to find your best underwear, your your anime underwear. You gonna try to flex around her with your two incher. Wait, you guys? Yup. And my bratty ass blue haired daughters coming in this bitch too. Yeah, I'm expecting one more. Any minute now. Yup, you watching over her ass too. Y'all, Mizuki? Y'all, you watching over her ass and you watching over the other ones. Best believe, Mizuki, she annoying as fuck as is, so she definitely not gonna even let you get the chance to try to pipe a set. So you're done, so bruh. Go change your underwear. You better make sure you're wearing the the most fucking comfiest ass of clothes because you ain't flexing shit when she in here. Don't worry, I understand everything. Yes, go go be your annoying ass self with Ota, please. I'll protect Iris. Yes. Finally, be useful for something. You better beat his ass if he's weird. Anyway... And she got the pouty face. You better beat his ass. If they do manage to find her here, having Mizuki around should help, right? R right Oh, I know he mad. We, we cock-blocked him so hard with Mizuki. I know how strong she is. Yup, she, she gonna flip you. I saw her lifting up those freaking weights. Good luck, you two. Thanks, Date. Alright, Mizuki. Go do what you gotta do, girl. Be his ass if he's weird. I'll give you the A-OK -okay to break his arm. Date. <laughs> How that right arm looking? Date, what, what are you saying? Date! Slams the door shut. What is going on? Get on that couch. Get on that couch and take off that sweater that you've been fucking wearing since like the beginning of this playthrough. It's been 30 hours. Take off that sweater. I'm sorry for coming so late. I need to talk to you about Iris. I. What is it? I. I steeled myself and continued. Iris said something to me that was very concerning. She got sweaty armpits. I hope they're stinky. She said she's being targeted by an organization called Nizet Laws, and that she needs help. Does any of this sound familiar? I decided not to tell her about the shooting at Golden Yokocho. I don't want her to worry. After a while, he told me spoke. <sighs> I didn't intend to hide it from you. I just never found the right time. Dígame. Huh? Dígame. She's... sick. 
And I was talking all that shit. Ahora tú me estás diciendo que ella está enfermo. Que ella tiene. Iris has a malignant brain tumor. Oh my gosh, she has a tumor, bro? A brain tumor? It makes her say strange things sometimes. I see. It smells like rubber. Her delirium could be a result of a brain tumor. Bro. It can also cause hallucinations and violent thoughts. That sucks, man. It makes sense. Everything Iris Whoa. said was likely a result of her condition. I can't. I have summarized this so bluntly, so calmly, but I couldn't stay calm. The words malignant brain tumor circled my head. Or circled my mind. Bro, I was about to tear up the mom too. She got her toes out. I was about to straight suck on them toes. And now you hit me with that? Damn, bro. Elephant. I'm inspecting everything in the house. It's a drawing on the wall. Iris room when she was 12. Can I inspect them toes? Damn, I could. About her disease. It's a brain tumor. It can cause a number of side effects. Nausea and dizziness. No, but what happened in the playthrough when her eyeball was gone? Sometimes her hands and legs go numb. Mmm, I remember that. She dropped a spoon. Sometimes she can't control her body temperature. No, but I am kind of warm. Damn. What? That was all caused by her brain tumor? Does Iris know? I don't think so. I didn't tell her the specifics, but Damn. I'm sure she knows. Damn. How long has she been sick? We found out in January. Oh, that's so soon. She suddenly collapsed at school. Damn. She went to the hospital and they examined her. They found a tumor. Oh my gosh, that sucks. According to the doctor, surgery wouldn't help. Damn. You mean? Grade four. Grade terminal. four terminal? Asa, you want me to take you to McDonald's? Why, Date? Do you want me to take you to McDonald's? I'll get you the fucking Mighty Kids meal, bro, with three toys. She has a year to live. Mm, I'm gonna give you a McDonald's. I'll get you all the toys. I'll make sure you complete the set. Oh. I can't, bro. How's the mom so calm about this? The mom is so calm, bro. At most. A, a year, bro. That's what the doctor told me. Damn. And if they were right, then she only has a few months left. Bro, that sucks. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. She knows. So it's like no matter what, she has a deadline. That's very soon. 
Is there any way to save her? Ordinary treatments won't work, but there is one way. What? To save her life. How? Which is? You can't cliffhanger me like that. Date, it's from Mizuki. What did Ota do? <sighs> Why now? Sorry, could you excuse me? Ota whipped his dick out, didn't he? Mizuki, I swear. You beat his ass. He whipped his dick out, didn't he? Fucking weirdo. What? What happened? Iris, she... Huh? She's gone. She disappeared. I only took my eyes off her for a second. Mizuki, pero como? You have the fucking yellow coat. You got the protag coat. A set. Time to go to Super Mario World in Universal. You gonna get all the achievements by the of the day. All the achievements? True. All the achievements. And she's getting all the plushies. And she's going to Nintendo World in Manhattan, and she getting a custom Nintendo Switch or something. What? Where did she go? I don't know. That's why I'm calling. <clears throat> but she left a note on the table. Well, she she left a note. She had enough time to leave a note. Oh, she sent you a picture. Did you get it? I have it now. Opening. I'm going with the person I trust most. Please don't worry about me, Iris. Renju? Iris. I have tried calling Iris with a different line. I cannot connect. It is probable that she turned her phone off. Damn. Mizuki, let's split up and find her. Let Ota know too. Got it. Did something happen? Uh, he told me you, you could just stay home. She was eavesdropping. No point in hiding it. Fuck. I told her that Iris was missing. What? He told me he went quiet. She didn't ask why she disappeared. I'm sure she thinks it's the tumor. She thinks that Iris' illness is making her go insane. Iris said that she was going with somebody, with the person she trusts most. Any idea who that might be? No. Okay. Tell me you know, man. I'm seeing a lot of ellipses coming from you. I'm gonna go look for her. I'll go too. <clears throat> no, please, stay here. She might come home. But... It's alright. I'll find her. Trust me. Okay. You hear this dang it rompa ass soundtrack? You hear the trumpets? Killing it at the studio. Date, the person in Iris's letter, the one she trusts most. Who do you think that is? It's either Renju or it's number 89 in his creepy smile. Who does Iris trust the most? <sighs> Renju? Too. Iba, you're giving me bedroom eyes right now. You better stop, or this car is about to get halted and shit's about to happen. Remember what Iris said? I look up to him. He's done so much for me. I know I can rely on him more than anyone else. According to the mermaid at Sunfish Pocket, He was looking for Iris. I think Renju called Iris. And Iris went looking for him. Exactly. Then what can I do? We've been looking for Renju. Everyone at HQ is looking for him too. True, man. How many hours are we into this game and we have never ever had like a scenario where we sat with this motherfucker. We've only seen him in flashbacks like the whole time. Bro, we have not seen this bitch! Not to mention, he's on the run with number 89. And even with all of that, we haven't found him. We don't even have any leads. If we only had some clues to work with... Then we wouldn't be in this mess. Are 
Are you giving up? Iris might be with number 89 at this very moment. We need to find her immediately. Now think, Date. Where would Renju go? Renju? His house, Lemniscate? The Sagan household, the Sunfish Pocket? Fucking house? Renju's house is currently occupied by officers from HQ. If he went back there, we would have been contacted. The cold storage warehouse? That's like the location that they always go back to. Lemniscate is also like a location that's like surrounded by HQ because that's like where he works. The cold storage warehouse. Maybe he's there. Like that's like like that's where we always end up at. We've ended up back there like two, three times already. Bro, you whipping so close to the water. Tuesday, 2.53 a.m. Frick, it's almost demon time. Again, an empty warehouse. I can't. There is no one here. Damn. He's not here. Let's go, Iba. Wait. What's wrong? Is there someone here? No living organisms detected. Then... No living organisms detected no living so who's in here you mean let's search the area huh we might be able to find something huh oh my god no me diga no me diga date the forklift doesn't it seem off somehow it hasn't been in use for some time but something is peculiar about it what bro no this can't be They put her in it? Oh my god, son. I got a boner again. Hold up. Terrible timing. Iris. Did they petrify her or some shit? But her eye Iris. is not missing. There's so many fucking questions. Her eye isn't missing, though. The case remains unsolved. Oh, my freaking goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yo, I feel like we're playing this game more and we're getting nowhere like times 10. We're we're making no progress. Switch routes. Don't get cooked. Don't get cooked. Stay off. Stay the off the hook. Locked. Y por qué está cerrado? I'm locked because I need to play more of the story? Mission failed. We'll get him next time. <sighs> you motherfucker with the Call of Duty shit. So I can't do this because I need more information. And I can't do this because I don't have enough information. So where so this is the other time for Your the dick small. 
Who said that? Noizu, you motherfucker. I swear. <laughs> I swear. Thank you for the bits. Okay, so this... We, we're gonna have to go here. Day three. Sinking in, in the vein. Hey, yo, that sounds kind of sus. There's no other splits. So now we got to go here. Oh, this one was so fucking annoying. Chat, y'all going to have to help me with this one. This one was very confusing. How does this split? Okay, so we're going to do this one. I forgot how this one went. Which route did I choose? You better give me that VIP, you motherfucker. What is this place? game I'm gonna need some more coffee give me a second
Your dick's small. <laughs> Yo, fuck you, bro. Fuck you! He said, damn, someone hates retro? I will find you. Oh my gosh, man. I got myself a, uh, a peanut butter, a peanut butter bread. I loves me my peanut butter. Bro, I need to put more ice in this shit, man. It's, all the ice melted so quickly. Mm. Okay. You said, uh, I was mod checking. She's like, where the mods at? There's N-words everywhere. I'm seeing the N-word all over the place in this chat. Where are the mods? It looks depressing. How is this related to Iris? I don't know. Unknown. She's looking for but backseaters? there must be a connection. Iris, what are you hiding? I'm scared. This place got really ugly. If I remember. Somnium scan! Activate! Turn the knob. Muscle, bro. Hmm. 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 Yo, I can't lie. I've never really taken the time to look at Ibis, but I eat it up. Oh God, I eat it up. They come with barbecue sauce. Mm. Okay. A CRT TV. Spin the dial. Oh my God, I thought this was porn. I got so scared. Wrong channel. What is this video? It is difficult to believe, but these are the faces of the victims of the original Cyclops oh, killer. Oh, the Cyclops killer. We forgot about that. They stopped talking about this. What? What is going on here? Iris, what are you hiding? We should continue. Oh yeah, there I forgot that Iris knew that. about the Cyclops killings. Or somehow she was linked to it. What the fuck? Did I do this one? Did I do this side? Yes. So I gotta go back. Oh yeah, I don't like the soundtrack. It's just legit. They were in the studio and they were like, "Oh fuck! No 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 no! Me restart. How how do you restart? How do you restart?" Back to just go back to the flow chart. Okay. Just go back to the flow chart. Okay. Mm, 
thank god this thing has a fast forward button imagine having to watch all this shit like regular time okay so what do we do now do we hit it so there's two different mental locks wait tv has a check mark is there something else i'm supposed to check in here the doors a double door maybe i'm supposed to open the door tackle hi -ya. Hi -ya. stop that you're not helping a double open okay it doesn't open i'm just assessing the situation so i guess we gotta smack it a CR Fixing it by hitting it is an old-fashioned approach. But it works, though. Like, back in the day, whenever we wanted to freaking make our N64 cartridges work, what do we do? <gasps> Slam that shit into the cartridge, I mean, into the console, and hit it one time for good measure. Then it start working. And if it doesn't work, you gotta go to alternate methods. Well, this is an old-fashioned object, so... Just like that. Oh, it's a mouse! Oh! No. No, 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 no. I don't want to see it anymore. Oh, this what is different. Just now? A child's drawing of a rat. Okay, now what the fuck is going on? This place looks completely different to, than how it looked before. Iris must have drawn it. It is not yet possible to determine that. Let's continue the investigation. There is much to interact with. A different route, okay. Hit the mouse. Five minutes left, Dante. Boss? You don't get your dick sucking lips out of here. A full body mirror. Damn, that hurts. We need something that doesn't hurt as much. I see many objects in the room. Mm. Let's sacrifice the points. A double door. Let's open it again. So we can so we could sacrifice the timer. It doesn't open. Okay. Now we got the timer gone. Um a shelf. Various Um Maybe investigate the TV cuz the TV was linking us to stuff. It's a frog. It appears to be a frog. A child's painting. Let's hope it's not dangerous, or you might croak. Date, leave. Leave. Was that supposed to be funny? No, I was just thinking about the meaning of the painting. There does not appear to be a particular meaning. I agree. <clears throat> a shelf. I guess investigate the bottle? Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. What? The explosions appear yeah, to almost have broke my game. The explosions made the room change. This is a dangerous dream. Okay, so we but have we to do continue. stuff with the TV. So now we got the second TV. The TVs are linked to everything happening. Blew up a frog. I don't want to kill the frog. I like frogs. Where's the gun pointing? Over here.
An analog TV. If it worked before, it's gonna work again. Oh. Smack it. Understood. Hello. What was that? That was creepy. I nearly pissed my pants. Four minutes. Boss, if you don't get your delicious lips. Is this gonna shoot this barrel? Is the barrel considered as explosive? No, this is pointing at something else. Is it gonna ricochet off the wall and then hit the TV? A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. <clears throat> Let's shoot that shit. I do not see any bullets inside. Just try it. All right, I'll give it a shot. As I thought, this will not work. We need a bullet. Oh, times two. Now we gotta go back to the door so we can not get hit with the sacrificial timer. Let's go to open again so it doesn't hurt us that much. Turn the dial? An analog. Why not? Nothing is happening. Okay. Um. Something with the mirror? Three minutes, Dante. A full body mirror. Let's punch that bitch. Are you sure I can break this mirror? Well, you don't have to try. No, I don't think you have the strength to break it. Then why did you ask me to, pervert? How does breaking a mirror make me a pervert? Just punch it, and I'm not a pervert. You see? It won't break. What was the point of that? Okay. Alright, what's up with the operating table? Or is there something else here that I'm not seeing? reference book it appears to be a butterfly reference book with pictures maybe ripping this is gonna destroy a butterfly reference all right rip that bitch that will be difficult with it being this thick That is somewhat accurate. Now the bird. The more you do, the less time you have. But we have no choice but to investigate further. Right. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. Gas canister. Gas canister. A common gas canister. Open the valve. It's rusted shut. Uh, it's rusted shut. I cannot open it. If you can't, then... It is meant to be closed? I think so. Mm, this is not good. I'm running out of time. Hey, that's me. She said the thing, chat. She said the thing. Um, investigate it. A picture of a bird, drawn by a child. Did Iris make this? Unknown. Take the time that's there. A retro. Um. No, 
I fucked it up. Damn, I just wasted time. That took a lot of time. Fuck. One minute left. Hit it. Oh, you a masochist. That child's voice is creepy. And hearing that laugh in this situation? It is unusual. Uh oh, this is bad. Is there something here? Something here that I can use. Gun. Mirror. Operating table. Locker. Just a locker. Open the locker? I don't fucking know. That was close. If this were the Delta Princess, I would have been stabbed. Why was it booby trapped? I do not see anything else inside. Would you like me to examine the knife? Good idea. Data, you've got less than 30 seconds. Yo, I'm trying. The knife that flew out of the locker. Seppuku? Throw that bitch at the TV? I don't know. Like this? Oh my god, where did it go? What? What? I mean, hey. I only threw it lightly. Okay, perfect. An oil drum, television, and torso. Oil drum, television, and torso? I think I understand. I'm starting to see the picture. I do not yet understand it. Damn, I'm running out of time. Shoot and kill. Now the gun? But how the hell am I gonna get the gun to do what the fuck I want it to do? Does the oil drum have the bullet? An oil drum. There's something inside of it. Take the lid off. Oh my god, the take the lid off is gonna get me fucked. Oh, you're kidding me. I can't even take it off. No use. I cannot take it off. Maybe we don't have to open it. Oh, you suck. Time's up. Um. But I can't shoot the gun because it has no bullets. I do shoot the gun. There's no bullets. A revolver. Remove it. Oh my god. It is fixed with a vice and cannot move. Can you loosen it? Impossible. Is there some kind of meaning to it? No, I fucked up. Date. We're out of Damn, I have no time, what the hell bro. is this one is really long This one is really long You said man ignore what Date said what did Date say? Okay, I think we got to go back to this one <clears throat> And then so just so we can have extra time This one is um Tear the book. It appears to be. And open the locker. Four minutes. Just a locker. Open the locker. Knife goes out. Hit the knife with the ya yi. The knife that...
second. Something about the mannequin. Where the fuck is it? Torso? A naked torso. I mean, if I remember the footage, are we supposed to choke it? Let's get a little bit personal with it. I would rather not. I know, but please try. Nothing happened. I'm sorry, I'm just experimenting right now. Nice punch. Thank you. I but you're so but weak. Nothing happened. I wasted my good punch. And our time. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna An eat our time. Jump. This is gonna eat our time. Okay, I guess look inside. It's pixelated. What is there? A penis in there? I'm looking at a penis. Ugh. What does this mean? Bullets? Okay. Bullets? They might be used for something. Let's keep them. Pick up the bullets, go to the blicky. Three minutes, Dante. A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. Picked up the bullets. Can I put the bullets in? But it's not giving me a it's not giving me a put a bullets in option. You know, like, load the gun. I mean, I picked the bullet, so... A revolver. So that's the only logical explanation. Can we use the bullets we found earlier? Okay, I was about to say. This could work. I'll try shooting it. Man's just straight choking this lady. Wait, that's not a lady, that's a dude. Wait, hey, yo, what's going on here? Isn't that the S SIU director from Persona 5? What the fuck is going on, bruh? What is going on? Oh, fuck, I froze. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. OBS keeps acting up. What happened during that Somnium? I have no idea. We found something, though. We saw the whole thing on the monitor. But we're just as confused as you are. Well, upon further reflection, it is not so strange. Dreams are developed outside of our conscious will. When you sink into Somnium, there is no guarantee of what you will discover. Anonymous, thank you for gifting a sub. Thank you. What about the figure? Could have been Iris herself. But it's the SUI director. That is a possibility. 
The sinker sees the subject stream from the third person. That means that Iris... She must have met So Sejima somewhere. We did see Congressman Sejima in there. We saw that shadow kiss him, too. She's probably visualizing the shadow as Sejima, and she is the body that is laying down, getting kissed, because the lower half of the body is, you know, legs, boobies, all that shit. Did that happen in reality? Not necessarily. I'm sure you've had dreams of kissing celebrities and porn stars, right? Nah, boss, I got one better. I had dreams blowing your back out. The first part, yes, but the second part, no. You sure about that? Anyway, you know what I mean. A dream is not made up entirely of memories. It can include things outside of your memory, like TV or movies. Even if the figure was supposed to be Iris, her smooch insomnium does not necessarily reflect her actions in reality. You can't use the word smooch. Why not? So we don't know if Iris and So are acquainted. That's right, because So is a celebrity of sorts. It's possible she just saw him on TV or online. No, that's a little bit suspicious that it's specifically him because his name has been brought up a lot during this case. And he's also with the with the clan family with Moma. You were silent for a time. Well, I was deep in my thoughts. I heard Peter. Dante. Iris is about to wake up. Got it. I gave my short reply and headed to the sink room. <clears throat> Putting me to sleep when I wasn't expecting it? Sorry, I had to hit you with that chloroform special. You cops are more rough than I thought. Hey, man. <laughs> Do you still want your McDonald's or not? You signed a consent form before you came in here, didn't you? You forced me to sign it. But you still signed it, though. So, even if you try to sue us, nothing's gonna happen. Anyway, Iris, I have some things I want to ask you. Oh, man. Craziness. I guess. Why? Did you do something that would make me sick? Yes. I just took a peek inside your head is all. Inside my head? Yes. I saw some weird shit. Do you remember your dream earlier? Dream? What are you talking about? The subject of the sink does not experience somnium as you do. Iris would not know about it. Do you know politician? Yeah, I know his name and face. I've never met him. Cap, you've been lying this whole fucking playthrough. You haven't? Mentirosa. I'm just an internet idol. It's not like I have connections to politicians or anything. Cap. About the Nile message with Ota. Iris, let me ask one thing. The message Ota sent you on Nile. I won't tell anyone about that thing. Hmm. What is that thing? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Guess what? Now you stuck in here the whole time. You only got six months. So if I were you, I'd get to start, you know, i get to talking quick because you could only experience so much within the six months time span. Time is precious, so you better hurry the fuck up or you're not getting your McDonald's. Oh, just the one who wrote that. No, 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 no. You said okay. You agreed to the message. You should ask him. 
No, 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 no. I want to talk to yo ass. Yo ass is in this room with me right now. Let me know what the fuck. Iba, Hota's phone is still broken, right? But he definitely sent that Nile message. Ota purchased a new phone in Akihabara yesterday. The same number? Yes. Call it. Connected. Hey, it's Kaname Date. Where are you? Ota, I know you can hear me. Son. Son. There should be a kill Ota button somewhere in this playthrough. At home. I'm at home. Got it. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Is Tessa still at the police station? Yes. If you want me to talk, release her. Bro, you're not in the position to be making ultimatums. You're not in the position to start demanding shit. I know where your mom works. All I need is a Molotov cocktail. I I'ma stop. Just, just continue. Criminal procedure law number 198. You gonna bring up the law to me now? Persons may refuse to heed a summons or leave the supervision of the police at any time unless they are arrested or detained. You a politician now? You gonna be one of them them kids in Manhattan and 14th Street Union Square? You gonna be one of those political kids? One of them left left kids the, the the left wing the right wings i don't know anything about p politics but you're gonna be one of those tessa isn't a suspect according to article 223 article this applies this. to all persons of interest mm. article this even date's like yo even date's like yo this kid bro talking about article <laughs> you haven't issued an arrest warrant for tessa right I know where your mom works. So if you don't release her right now, you are violating the law. I know where your mom works. <sighs> Damn. Do we have a deal? I know where your mom works. I'll just keep on saying that over and over in the phone. And he could be like, is that a threat? And I'd be like, I know where your mom works. You want my testimony, right? <sighs> I know where your mom works. I'm gonna say it again. I know where your mom works. Bring Tessa here, and I promise I'll tell you everything I know. I know where your mom works. I know where the fuck your mom works. I know where she works. This kid is starting to get on my nerves. So, what are you going to do? I have no idea what the fuck I'm gonna do. Oh, are you gonna do what I say or Tessa gonna have lose her shit six months early? Oh my god. sing again that was beautiful right shit iris come with me we're going to matsushita diner were you talking to ota yeah telepathically i have special powers anyway I her that let's go i believe you Yo, the Pokemon Pokemon Go is going to have the six-year anniversary event. Bro, they got Pantsier? I want to get a shiny Pantsier and call that motherfucker Gerald.
Yeah, Pokemon Go six years. You said Pantsier's ill. I love Pantsier. That's fucking Gerald, man. Tessa, thank you, Ota. It's thanks to you. That's right. It's not like you can do whatever you want just because you're the police. I'm hurt. Maybe not, but you better keep your promise. Now I know where you live. Now I know where you work. about it you give an ota this look is this your first time here why does that matter Bitch, do you want me to leave where's your mom she's in the living room in the back i think she's watching tv or something okay did you come all the way here just to ask me that? Yeah, where your mom at? What about that Nile message? So let's hear it. What is that thing? That thing? Don't play dumb. You sent that message to Iris. Oh, um... Date! Will you do me a favor? Nah. What? No. There's a picture on the counter, right? Don't touch the picture. Yeah, and? I want you to take Don't. a good look at it. Don't! The photo. Yo, Dante, yes. I swear to God. The photo. Dante, I swear to God. This motherfucker, Dante. Dante! <laughs> I can't believe this dog shit, man. We really got bodied by this fucking kid. Uh, head is pounding. What time is it? The day has turned over. It is Monday, 2.50 a.m. You've been unconscious for nearly five hours. Five hours? Ota got me, didn't he? He did. He knocked me out for five hours? He struck you over the head with the walk. Bastard. Why did he do that? I don't know, but afterward he ran off with Iris. How do you know? You had lost consciousness, but I was still watching. I recorded video of the incident. Take a look. You fucking kid, you assaulted a police officer. Tessa, wait. Uh, I'll get the car. You assaulted a police officer. You you, you stay away from my boy! Tessa! What's wrong? Did something happen? No, everything's fine. What does she do to her mom? Okay, let's go. No, what does she do to his mom? What does she do to his mom? Why didn't you chase them? I'm sorry. You're an eyeball. You should have jumped out of my eye and ran after them. I couldn't move. The mechanics controlling my ambulatory motion were short-circuited by the blow to your head. <sighs> Date, the boss is calling. I don't want to pick up. Oh, how am I going to report this one? 
Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. ¿Qué está pasando ahora? The killer. Well, just watch the video. The killer. I sent the address to Iba. Oh, this shit again? Wait, did we do the wrong route? Iris. And her eye is gone. No, that's... The criminal is streaming this live. Bro, he on Twitch? Source. Identified. The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Okiura? Date, focus. We need to get to the site, now. You said, Retro, are you still playing this shit? Because I, I'm so invested into the story, I want to know what... Let's see. My heartbeat was pounding, blah, blah, blah. How much time has passed? I mean, this time has disappeared. Eventually, the car reached the long bridge. Shortly after, I, the image changed. That's the polar bastard. bear again? Bro. So, are we going to get the same outcome? I'm so confused. Now what? Oh my god, this fucking warehouse district is starting to piss me off. I'm telling you, we're coming here so fucking often. When I fully finish this game, I'm gonna have dreams about warehouses and fucking freezers. Whose other cars are those? Ota's still alive. He got stabbed? You okay? Date. Where did they go? Through the back door. So, so they survived. Just hang on, Ota. Help is on the way. Motherfucker got stabbed. She got her Don't eyeball worry. yoinked out. Iris is alive. Backup is en route to this location. Date, pursue the culprit. Pursue the culprit, All right, no. I'm on it. Who the fuck am I pursuing? I don't even know. For all I know, Ota stabbed himself. Bro, who am I pursuing? Who am I pursuing? Renju's ghost? Any traces of the culprit? Still nothing. We also didn't catch the culprit on any of the surveillance cameras. They probably got away through the back alley. While wearing a polar bear costume. Maybe they took it off and threw it in the ocean. If it were filled with something heavy, it would sink to the bottom. Where pewter at? Fine ass in on that desk. All this adrenaline and anticipation is driving me insane. Please. It's still ongoing, but they haven't found anything of note yet. Date, Iba, go to the warehouse again and investigate. You two might be able to find some useful clues. I'm tired of the warehouse. I'm tired of it. So, Sejima? He was in Iris' Somnium yesterday. Right. But Iris says she's never met him. Why not she ask lying. So about it? So lives in Azabu, right? I guess I could. 
They were taken to Central Hospital. Ota's surgery went well. He's in treatment now. He's stable, nothing life-threatening. Iris, though. Is she still in surgery? Yeah. Iris's left My eye is forcibly froze. removed. Uh, because the optic nerve yes. is connected to the brain, the surgery will take some time to complete. The optic nerve is connected to the brain, the surgery will take some time. Okay. You should ask Iva about that. Yes, I have already done some research. Okiara Fishery is owned by the Okiara we know. Yes. Renju's father created the company. Okay. Another connection to Renju. Everything's connected to Renju. No, actually. Currently, Okiara Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. No, I don't care. It, it has the to do with The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Okay, so it's connected to Renju. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. No, he is. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other persons. No. You're his dad owned it. So it's a coincidence the criminal chose that location? Unknown. They're giving statements at HQ right now. The line is pretty long. You could just talk to Mizuki. Right. She's part of the Okiura family too. Oh, speaking of. Hey boss, did you end up sending anyone to take care of Mizuki yesterday? Jeez, you're finally getting around to asking that? Yes, Bro. she's fine. I had one of our new recruits take her. Who? She took her back to your house, so Mizuki should still be there. So Mizuki's at home. And I'm fairly certain she's furious with you. Bro, I'm a cop. I'm dealing with After shit, man. After leaving her alone with Mama, I mean. Bro, she can be mad all she wants, man. I'm over here trying to get money so I can live. Of course. Hitomi's at the hospital, waiting for the surgery to finish. Mm. And Mayumi? She was at the hospital earlier, waiting for Ota to get out. Finally, we I see think she his went back home again. to get some clothes and things for Ota's hospital dangs. stay. Date, last night, Mayumi left the diner to chase after Iris and Ota. Perhaps she knows something. Yeah, she might. Let's listen to Mayumi's story. Alright, boss. I'm going to investigate all this. Got it. We're counting on you. Let's go, Iva. Roger that. Roger Dodger. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Back to the fucking cold storage warehouse. Hi, yeah, 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 Two cars. These cars have been parked here since before 3.17 a.m. One van and one station wagon. Okay. Oh my god, is Kagami here? Where's Kagami? This stolen last night, the owner of the vehicle reported it stolen. It was stolen at 10 33 p.m. yesterday. The theft occurred in Fuchu, Tokyo, in the parking lot of Famisto, a convenience store along Koshu Highway. The Famisto parking lot, huh? The car was stolen while the owner was shopping inside the store. The vehicle's engine was on. What's the chances the doors of that? might have even been unlocked, which would have made the theft easy for the culprit. What's the chances of that? That's stupid. Who took the car? Ota Matsushita. What? Ota got into the car and drove off. The security cameras at the convenience store caught the entire incident. Are you fucking kidding me? Ota's, Ota's a loose fingerprints cannon? were also found on the steering wheel of that car. There is no doubt that it was Ota. The stream of the polar bear started around 3 a.m. Correct. About 10 minutes later, Ota appeared on screen. Ota stole the car at 10.33 p.m. That makes four and a half hours until he appeared on screen. So what the fuck is this van? Who owns the van? The Matsushita family. It appears as though it was used for transporting ingredients and supplies. Tessa, wait! So is that the uh, mom? I'll get the car. 
I'll get the car. Ota's fingerprints were found on the steering wheel and gear shift. I'm so confused, so why the fuck Iris's are there two cars? Iris's fingerprints were found around the passenger seat. Those were the only prints recently made. So Ota drove two cars? Was there anything else found inside the car? There was one thing. What was it? Ota's cell phone, the one he purchased two days ago in Akihabara. It slid under the driver's seat. Where's the phone now? Its data is being inspected and evaluated. I'm so confused. I cannot find anything in the vicinity that could be a clue. Me either. Let's check inside the warehouse. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Wow, it's cold in here. Kagami? The air conditioners have stopped. However, the insulation in the walls has kept the room temperature close to what it was this morning. I should finish this investigation before I freeze to death. Well then, you had better get started. Kagami? Yeah, wish it were under better circumstances. Too bad you're not a girl. This could be the start of something. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thinking the same thing. Okay. What's your name? <laughs> Good one, Date. <laughs> Have I asked you before? It's fucking Kagami. Uh, yeah. Wait, give me a second. It's coming back to me. Kagami. It has something to do with glass? Where are you getting this from? I have a pretty unique name. Kagami. Do you remember now? Yes. Yeah, I think I've got it. It was three syllables. Kagami. Something like... Oh, six letters long. You remember all that, but not my name? It's Kagami. W what's your name, buddy? You still don't know. Kagami. No, not yet, but I I've almost got it. Three syllables, six letters. Kodaka. Right? Not even close. Not even close. Do you want me to just tell you? Yes, just tell me. No, no, g give me a hint. It starts with Ka. Starts with Ka, three syllables, six letters. You're making this sound like a riddle. Um... Is it... Kaniza? Yeah, sure man, that's my name. <laughs> His name is Kaniza. It changed? It's not Kagami, probably born between June 22nd and July 22nd. That's my friend Kaniza. Oh my god, his name <sighs> no, changed. nothing so far. No, unfortunately, I live alone. With a job like this, I don't really get the chance to meet new people. Once this case is wrapped up, how about you and I go to a cabaret club together? Hey, now you're talking. You're buying, right? Sure, I'll expense it. I recorded that conversation. I will be sending it to the boss later. I but you bitch. Uh, on second thought, why don't we split it? Aw, lame. Stabbed. Cardboard blocks. Cardboard box. Wooden box. Girl, is this warehouse not in use?
Anyway, some engineer from NRIPS created a jacket lined with heating wires. That keeps me warm. Nice, right? All the cops and inspectors around here are wearing them. Except me. I checked this place point by point, but didn't find nothing. A video camera and laptop. This is what the criminal used to stream. All of these items have been bought from pawn shops and thrift stores. It would be difficult to determine a suspect from them. I have logged into the Wi-Fi in this warehouse. Okiura Fishery Co. LTD is listed as the owner. However, I found the password written directly on the router. Anyone who saw it could Where's have used the router? It. <clears throat> How is there a router in a, in a freaking freezing warehouse? It's a little weird. The tires of the forklift are clearly frozen to the ground. It hasn't been moved in a long time. Hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. It just seemed noteworthy. Has it been moved in years? I don't know if this has anything to do with what happened this morning. 3 a.m. this morning. Iris was lying right here. If Ota hadn't come to save her, it would have been too late. Hmm. I don't know. That machine is used to cut ice. We have gathered testimony from the workers regarding it. This has always been in the warehouse, so the suspect did not bring it here. Any fingerprints? Nothing. No fingerprints have been found at the scene at all. This entire warehouse is clean. I see. That's it. It really does look like Reika from that cabaret club in Nakamaguro. What part of her looks like a metal tube? What? Dark. Is it of concern? Yeah, but without some light, I can't see. I am perfect for times like this. A note? Huh, there's something there. You should go pick it up. Huh, I recognize this. An Odoroki Man chocolate. You've been collecting them for three years. Each chocolate contains a special sticker inside. Oh, check what's inside. Years ago, you started buying them for Mizuki, but eventually, you got hooked on them. Even after Mizuki lost interest, you kept buying them. That's a bittersweet memory. The Odoroki Man chocolate. Why is this here? Perhaps we can use it as a clue. Let's investigate further. It's a little weird. <sighs> Ah, <clears throat> oh, it's freezing. Date, we're at our limit. We've examined everything of interest here. Let's go elsewhere. I agree. Why is there a chocolate in there? That's so suspicious. Who else likes that chocolate? Mizuki?
Um, uh, who might you be? It's me, Konami Date. We met other yesterday. Day. I gave you my card. Oh. <laughs> so, how can I help you? Last night? What time? Before 10 p.m. Oh, I was already asleep by 10. You were sleeping? That can't no, be. you're a liar. You were up. Oh, Tom. Bro, she was put in a trance by this girl. You left the diner to chase after Ota and Iris. I saw the whole thing with my own left eye. Left eye? Not both your eyes? Nah, shut uh, the fuck up. You're trying well. to make it seem like I'm weird. Anyway, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't go anywhere last night. Nah, she bugging. I was asleep. I was dreaming. No, the fuck you dreaming. were Dreaming? Yes. A very nostalgic dream. Yo just got home. What I miss. What kind of dream? It was when my son had we just did, like, started three elementary routes. school. I had Oda run an errand for me. And he was taking so long, and I was waiting. My husband said it was nothing to worry about, but I couldn't take it anymore and went to look for him. I found him at a traffic said, Why do signal, I sound far away? crying. He said he couldn't come home because the signal was still red. Was one of those crossing signals you have to push. <laughs> that boy didn't even notice it. He just stood in front of that red light. So stubborn. So stupidly honest. Ah, that's my Oda. He was so cute. I couldn't help it. <laughs> This is a family photo from when Ota was still small. Ew, what the I fuck? That's her dad? <sighs> I'm a horrible mother. I've always caused trouble for my husband and Ota. They've helped me so many times. I am such a burden. But they were always smiling. Nah, the so dad good. looks like he's... I nah, I don't trust the them. They gave me one Mother's Day. They knew how much I liked floral patterns. The apron? So gave me this apron. This ugly and ass apron? Knife. Oh, I was so happy. I was crying and smiling, and that's what this photo is from. Nah, I don't trust their family it's now. They're fucking weird. But isn't it such a nice photo? Yes, that's very nice. Like the nice music name. in this whole store, I feel like it's a false sense of security. Where is your husband? This is the first time we're actually seeing a photo of him. Oh, who knows? What do you mean, who knows? Date, I did some research on her husband, Ota's father. He dead, isn't His he? His name is Matsushita. Why the Takuro. fuck he look like that? Oh my god, bro. He look like a fucked up Disney character. He look like one of those reject NPC characters in like the old Steamboat Disney cartoons. What the fuck? He died of myocardial infarction five years ago. He dead? What? What is going on here? Yeah, there's something up. There's something up. Do you know anything about this chocolate? You like Odoroki Man? Yes, actually. I was hooked on them at one point. My Ota loves them too. When he was younger, he used to collect all the stickers. He was the best at it. Packing? What are you talking about? I thought you came here to pack some of Ota's things for his hospital stay. Ota? At the hospital? Nah. What is going on? What is going on with her? What is going on? My 
my boy's fine. Yo, everybody in this game is crazy. I would not want to be a detective in this town. This town is full of loonies. You shouldn't say things like that to a mother. Date, I noticed something. Can you look at Mayumi with the thermal imaging turned on? What is she? A robot? She got a big ass brain! Jimmy Neutron! Do you see it? Part of her brain is blue. That might be due to low blood flow in that part of the brain. Which means... Mayumi has an illness. I have checked her hospital records. For the past six years, Mayumi has been suffering from dementia. Dementia? Symptoms vary considerably, but Mayumi appears to be afflicted by memory loss. She seems to be missing memories. Bro, everyone that we're dealing with in this game got a brain problem. This girl got a brain tumor. She she having hallucinations. Oh my god, son. I got a boner again. Hold up. She think the mili she thinks some false ass military is after her, bugging out the wazoo. Now the mom over here with dementia don't even remember that her son is in the hospital. Bro, this whole game is weird. I see. So that's where those weird comments are coming from. Everybody is fucked up. Can she run a diner like that? No! It isn't running. What do you mean? Matsushita Diner has been closed for eight years. Bro! I told you this is a false sense of security! The diner been closed for eight years? Yo, this is this is why we never seen anybody in this diner. Oh my gosh, man. You said I swear they hinted this in the beginning? I don't know, dude. Everything has gone to shit. Matsushita Diner is near the Kabasaki District. It is not technically within the restricted area. However, like nobody want to after come the here chemical plant explosion, the number of potential customers must have dropped considerably. Before the accident, this diner managed quite well due to its proximity to Bloom Park. Patrons from Bloom Park would often eat here, being the cheaper option. Damn. But Bloom Park closed eight years ago. Wow. The customers stopped coming, and then, naturally... Damn. Does Mayumi not notice that the store is closed? I do not think so. No! Because of the dementia? She's in her own world! Yes. I can't believe it. This is so sad, man. Well, is that all? I have to start preparing for the dinner shift. Bro, we... Let's just leave, bro. Like, there's no point in talking to her. Stood and went to the kitchen. The dad's been dead. Date, let's go. Who did that? Who played the song? Who played the song? Anonymous, I'm gonna find you. Let's go. It's Thanks better that you leave things be. You're right. Does that mean Ota have dementia too? Because didn't we mention to Ota like, hey, where's your dad? And and Ota was like, oh, he's he's working. Does Ota also have dementia? Oh, now we got to see this old man with this face. I don't think you belong here. Leave my freaking garden at once. How did you get in? Hopped see? over the fence. That's trespassing, you know. My baseball landed in your backyard. I was just trying to get it back. Oh, 
Oh. What's your boss's relationship with the Kamakuras? I don't know anything. Even if I did, I couldn't tell you. I'm sworn to confidentiality. Do you know Iris? No, it's this girl. Cute. What was that? Uh, nothing. You just said cute, didn't you? I did not. You did. Did not. Did. I said, shoot. Why would you say shoot? Look, I said I don't know her, all right? Congressman Sejima was at home all Friday and Saturday. How about from last night until this morning? He was in his bedroom, resting. Can you prove that? My word should be enough. Iba, are there any security cameras in the mansion? There are several. But for some reason, they are all powered off. There is no image data for the past few days. Really? Suspicious. That's too suspicious to ignore. Where's the merman? Look, Iba, a giant salamander. Where? Mr. Sejima is a wealthy man. Perhaps it is his pet. Really? Where's the merman? I remember one time he actually said something to us. That kind of freaked me out. No video, no proof. No proof, no video. I told you yesterday. My relationship with them is perfectly legitimate. Hey, Iva. You were still in the middle of the story about So selling and buying the Kawasaki land. Oh, we can continue that later. Here, sleeping, of course. Why? What happened? Did you not see the news? No, I've been reading a book. I don't know what happened, but whatever it was, I had nothing to do with it. I don't. Who is that? This girl. Do you recall seeing her? No, I've never seen her. I detect no noticeable rise in So's body temperature. This guy's a politician. Lying is his job. Mm. Well, true. Are you finished here? I'm just getting started. You won't get anything, no matter what you ask. So Sejima has nothing to do with your case. It's my job to decide that, not yours. <sighs> okay, I didn't want to get rough. But if I need to, I'll feed you to the koi. You're gonna feed me to the I'd fish? like to see you try. Date, he's not all talk. What? Check his body. You got the blicky? <gasps> he got the thing on him. This guy is a handgun. It is, of course, real and loaded. So you're carrying, huh? What are you talking about? Don't act dumb. I should have you arrested for firearm violation. I don't know what you're talking about. The gun you have on you. I don't have a gun. I know that you do. You got a way to prove it? I could search you. Oh, yeah? How? You need a warrant for that. <sighs> Damn, he knows. Are you finished? If you are done here, I'd like to ask you to leave. Date, I don't believe we can accomplish anything further here. It's better for us to return to HQ. This is why I hate politicians. <laughs> Alright. So you packing? Yup. He packing a gun. He got the whole blicky on him. The blicky, the blicky. The hospital. Now we get to see Ota in the hospital bed. Hopefully with different clothes. Are you okay? Date. The nurse told me you were here. Yes, just resting. Iris's surgery was successful. Nice. They told me she would be fine. Nice. After I heard that, a weight left my shoulders and I just collapsed. It seems that she passed out and was brought here. Damn. Yeah, the nurse told me. But I'm fine now. I feel much better.
about Ota. I am so thankful for Oda. No, words don't even do it justice. Ota saved Iris, didn't he? I heard the police talking about it. If Oda didn't go to the warehouse that night, Iris would be dead. I really don't even know what to say. It's frustrating that there isn't a bigger word for thank you. So, Sejima, the politician? Yes. We believe they might know each other. I don't think so. Hmm. Oda was actually one of my students. I was his teacher in elementary school. Even back then, he had such a strong sense of justice. Not that I'm one to say, but I believe he grew up to be quite an amazing young man. He risked his own life to save someone else. His mother must have raised him well. About Iris. She... Iris lost her left eye. Yeah. They haven't found it yet. If the optic nerve and blood vessels are intact, they told me they might be able to restore it. <sighs> but I'm thankful she's alive. That shit ain't coming back. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. While I was waiting for news from Iris' surgery, I... I started thinking about Monica. And I felt like I was going to lose my mind. That must have been very painful. Yes. Damn. He said that shit with such a heavy voice. That was like daddy vibes right there. That must have been very painful. Jesus Christ, Date. My pants are wet. Hitomi, what were you doing around 3 a.m. today? I don't mean anything by it. I'm just doing my job. I was sleeping at home. Mentirosa. The police came and picked me up around 4 a.m. Mentirosa. That's when I heard about all this. Her testimony matches what was in the investigation material. The cops came to pick her up around 4? Correct. How long does it take to get from Hitomi's house to the warehouse? 20 to 25 minutes by car. And the polar bear ran out of the warehouse at around 3.15? Correct. If you're fast, you can just make it. Do you suspect Hitomi? Not necessarily, but... Hmm. Sorry for asking you so many questions at a time like this. No, it's fine. I should go. Now, nah, let me look around this room. What they got in here? We got the bathroom. What else is in here? We got the cupboard. We got the patient monitor thingy. Looking at the heart rate. We got the curtains. Peekaboo. Pardon me? When Iris was little, we used to play hide and seek. Oh my, what the Seeing fuck? that curtain made me think about it. Yo, he told me we could bug the fuck out of here. Nobody's in here, bro. Exhausted, or I go to sleep. The Date residence. Oh no, we're gonna see this girl now. Here we go. She's gonna be so angry. Oh my god, man. I look like I'm living in the freaking. This should look like. This should look like around Flushing Avenue, like Flushing Avenue in Williamsburg. If you know, you know. Hey Mizuki, could you take a break? Damn, she just I been doing. Ask you something. She just been doing reps the whole time. Damn. Ooh, look at that toy.
I... You're mad at me, aren't you? Where's the officer who dropped you off? Damn, she ain't gonna talk about the fishery. Hey, you know what? This is this is easy. About Ota and Iris. Apologize. Listen, I get it. I'm really sorry, Mizuki. Yesterday, I went to meet up with the Yakuza gang. The Kumakuras. Remember Mama said Renju had some connection with them? So I went to question them. But of course, I couldn't take a little girl with me. You understand, right? I'm not afraid of any Yakuza's. I'd make their hearts stop beating in three seconds. You probably will. Girls shouldn't talk like that. That's awfully sexist of you. This is why no one thinks you're attractive. I'm attractive? Uh-huh, keep telling yourself that. That's why you haven't had a girlfriend in four years. My girlfriend is a ninja. You know, she's just hiding in the shadows. Sure. So what do you want to ask me anyway? I'm gonna hurt her. I'm gonna hurt her feelings, bro. I'm gonna hurt her feelings, bro. Yo. You said she got the Black Air Force energy? About Ota and Iris. I saw the video. The one at 3 a.m. last night. Ota is amazing. Eh. I'm changing my mind about that guy. Iris and Ota came out of it okay. Changing your mind? They'll both live. Really? Yeah. <sighs> Thank God. Where's the officer who dropped you off? I told her to go home. I said I would call her to check in. Okay. Why are you disappointed? Did you want to meet her? It's not like that. You wanted to see her boobs? I thought you were more into small boobs, pervert. I like big boobs too. Huh? I suppose you are what they call a tit man. Bro, man, my eyeballs coming after me. This girl's coming after me. I'm not safe. I am not safe in my own home, bro. Okira Fishery is a company Fat grandpa made. Milkers. I don't think daddy had anything to do with it, though. Grandpa died separately. No, I don't want to skip it. What kind of person was your grandpa? I never met him. He died before I was born. But daddy did tell me stories. What kind of stories? Back when grandpa was in great grandma's tummy, she was on a passenger ship that got shipwrecked in a storm. She had to have the baby out on the ocean. Jojo? The ocean. Yep. And then, Grandpa was raised by dolphins. Oh, never mind. Huh? By the time he was 10, he was catching fish with his bare hands. And then, Grandpa got up on land and learned language and culture and stuff. And then he decided to start up Okiura Fishery. Sounds like a tall tale. Yeah, Grandpa was a legend. 
all the fishermen and sailors respected him. That can't be true. There's a part of me that thinks, maybe. After all, Mizuki herself seems superhuman. Uh, I'd believe her grandpa was an incredible man. Alright, say goodbye. Thanks for talking with me, Mizuki. It was helpful. Was it? I have to continue the investigation, so... Wait, you're leaving me again? I'm coming with you! No. Why? I can't involve you. This might be dangerous. It's okay, I'm strong. You know how strong I am, right? You were the one who knew how special I was before anyone. Alright, fuck it. Come along. Just come along. It was one year ago. What happened? I noticed something strange when Mizuki came home from school. Hey, what happened? Who did this to you? Some kids at school. Five or six of them. And she beat all their ass? said I was a weirdo because I don't live with my mom and daddy. That's fucked up. You and beat their ass? And they teased me. And I got mad and... You beat the ass. I told them to go away and they hit me. Oh, nah, you better beat the ass. Tell me their names. I'll teach the little punks a lesson. Date, wait. Adult intervention will not solve this problem. Mizuki has to deal with this problem herself. Yo, Mizuki. Mizuki, give me a second, bro. Hold up. Hold up, Mizuki. Yo, I got this thing right here. It's like a little bit, it's like a little C4. You turn this shit a couple times. Put this shit in one of their backpacks, but make sure you do this shit during lunchtime. Give me a second. I also got some other materials. Um, I got a Caterpie. You can bug the fuck out with the Caterpie. All right? Hold on. I got, I got some other stuff. Hey, yo. I'm super late, but glad to see you're playing one of my favorite games from last year. Hope you enjoy it as much as I did. I'm a go back to lurk in tow. Yo, thank you so much, for, um, Ozzy, for the resub. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Um, I'm enjoying the game a lot. So far, I want to I want to get to the bottom of this case and see what the fuck happens, you know. But yeah. Um. Damn, man, you lucky. I don't got the blicky on me right now, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is, bro. I should buy myself a toy shotgun. But obviously with the orange nozzle because I don't want Twitch thinking I got a legit shotgun on stream. I gotta buy myself like like replica guns if you know what I'm saying, bro. Let me see. Like Corey Kenshin? Yo, like Corey Kenshin. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Hold up. I'm looking for a shotgun toy right now. Toy pump action shotgun. Oh, this shit look fire. How much this shit cost? 20 bucks? This shit look nice. Hold up. Buy a toy C4. Does this shit cock back and all that? I'm making sure this shit does the chick chick. It gotta do the chick chick. Uses two AA batteries for the sound effects. Loads and eject toy shells. Oh, this is fire. Hold up. Okay. You said, wait, he actually buying it? I'm thinking about it, bro. I gotta get myself a blicky. Mizuki, come on. It's time to train. We trained her? What? I'm gonna teach you how to kick their asses. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm the, I'm the type of person. If I saw my daughter or son getting picked on, I'd be like, yo, I'm gonna teach you how to beat their ass. And when, then when you beat their ass and the teacher calls me talking about, oh, oh, this, that, and the third, the child was this, that, and the third, I'd be like, well, first of all, if she wasn't getting bullied, she wouldn't be out here beating their ass. And then I'd be like, put her on the phone. Yeah, dad. What happened, baby? So these three guys, they started f bothering me in school and call me names. And then I beat their ass. You beat their ass? Yeah. I right, good girl. When you come home, I'm getting you some McDonald's with two toys. Mighty kids meal. And then I'm taking you to Carvel so we could get some ice cream. I love you. I'll see you soon. All right, I'm going to pick you up. Oh, God. We're starting right now. 
Get ready. Obviously, I, I don't encourage violence, but sometimes in school, when you getting picked on, you gotta make an example. Why the shrine? You gotta make an example sometimes. Because the thing is, when you're in school, is that if you keep on letting yourself get picked on, you're gonna keep on getting walked on through the entirety of the school year. You said teachers are absolutely horrible at solving these issues, dog. No, of course. You said, is the audio delayed for anyone else? Is the audio delayed? I think the audio is fine. A shrine is the perfect place for special training. It is? You feel better when you train in quiet, serene places like this. Mm -hmm. Sure, whatever. First, I am going to teach you four secrets to becoming stronger. Follow these four rules, and you will acquire power beyond your wildest dreams. Date, are you playing a character or something? <laughs> My name is Kakashi. I'm not Date. While we're in training, I am Master. I am your master. <laughs> Mizuki's like, yo, I'm not I'm not with this shit. This is kind of cool. Are we at the same shrine that we were with with this girl? Iris? Alright, we're gonna teach you some stuff, okay? Being quick to act is crucial. Mizuki, do you know how to win any fight against any opponent? Um don't get in a fight in the first place? Now, sometimes fights are unavoidable. That is a respectable answer. But no, the way to win any fight is this. Hit them first, and hit them hard enough to finish them. Mm. Sometimes I don't want to encourage starting the fight, but hey, sometimes you got to make a statement. I kind of get it, but... Of course, I'm not saying that's how you should behave. But thinking about this will make a big difference in a real fight. Yeah, okay, I get it, but... Seriously, Date, are you, like, acting or something? <laughs> Not Date. Master. Master. What? Why? The best training you could ever have is to be mindful during your everyday life. Diet and exercise form a strong body. Yes. And if you are always maturing intellectually and emotionally, you will always be able to anticipate your enemy's first move. I get it. But you're so messy. Does that mean you can't fight? <laughs> Hark. The blowing of the wind through the trees. You can't just say something cool to avoid my question. Mental preparation is important. In a fight, you must first be victorious in you your said, mind. You said, can I see your flow chart so you don't... Okay, this is my flow chart right now. This is my flow chart. It's not that big right now. I did some of this stuff. I got locked out here. I got the iris ending here. Um, apparently there's no split here, which I'm kind of surprised about. I feel like there's going to be a branch off here somewhere. Um, and now I'm just doing this one down here. Like thinking I'm not going to lose? Exactly. I do the same mental preparation before going to a strip club. Date! Before I go in, if I tell myself that they're all out of my league, then they will be. True! The mental fight has begun the moment I put my hand on the door. True! Yeah, I see. Actually, no. That's stupid. The key to victory is to kill the heart. Like, when you get into a fight, aim for the heart? No, 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 no. We're not trying to actually kill them. I don't want you to go to jail now. No, it's the opposite. You must kill your own heart, Mizuki. What do you mean? If you are going to fight, you must suppress any mercy or emotional attachment. If you have even a mote of sympathy within you, it will be impossible to fight to your potential. Do not think of your opponent as a man. Think of them as a target, a punching bag or a board. 
Just a punching bag. Huh. Anyway, practice these four truths, and you will get stronger. This sounds like a scam. <laughs> Believe in me. If you do as I say, you'll be thanking me in time. Are you sure? Right, how about we do a baseline test? Show me what you've got. Huh? How? Well, let's see. How about you throw a punch? I can guess your strength from that. If you say so, I'll give it a shot. First, close your eyes and concentrate. Like this? Exactly. Then, exactly. punch forward. Listen to your master. Hey! Oh, nah, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. She's gonna kill somebody. Huh? Yes! She gonna kill somebody, bro! How is that? Nah, nah, you know what? Never mind. Do not hit any kids in the school. Um... Um, you're gonna have to use half of what you just did if you're gonna touch somebody because... I'm not trying to go to jail. Um... You don't have to be nice. No, you, what you did was OP. I know I'm weak. No, that was not weak. You just literally shifted the airwaves. Even I was like... Hey, by the way, did you swing back at those bullies? No, I didn't do anything. Oh, you would have killed all of them. There were a bunch of them. I didn't think I could. I see. She doesn't know her own strength. I suppose not. <laughs> Mizuki. I mean, like, hey, punch one of those wooden things right there, and you're gonna see how much, how much power you have. Let's just say I think you should be more confident in yourself. Really? But never ever strike your master. That is a must. You must learn discipline. Nah, she killing somebody if she punches him. Yeah, you're right. In fact, you're so strong you scare me sometimes. Well then? No, I can't take you with me. Why not? Because I took responsibility for you. I promised Renju. I can't put you in danger. That's not fair. Bringing up daddy. Iris and Ota feel the same way. They don't want you hurt either. You have to understand, Mizuki. If I need your help, I'll let you know when the time comes. Really? Yes. Promise? I promise. Pinky promise. Let's go, Iva. Where to? Just stay here. Um, watch out for the internet. Um, you could play some music. Um, here's my Uber Eats account. Don't eat too much. You could get yourself some nuggies, and I'll be right back. reach HQ. Let's summarize our investigation so far. That's a lot of shit. Um. Mizuki did not have any new information about Okiura Fishery. Currently, it seems there is nothing linking that company to Renju. Hmm. Still, something's not right. Likely because you haven't had a good night's sleep. Yeah. It's been a while since I've been this busy. If my body were made of flesh, I would offer my lap as a pillow. If you don't stop, if you don't stop playing, she... You playing too much, girl. Yo, don't make promises you can't keep. What? You can't say something like that out of the blue. Exactly, bro. Playing with my emotions. God, now it's awkward. Because if you were made of flesh, I'd be doing more than sleeping on your... Mayumi is suffering from dementia. If Mayumi followed Ota and Iris, it is highly likely that she saw the person in the polar bear costume. Bro, I would not be surprised if she was the person in the polar bear costume. 
but... She might not remember. Correct. Exactly. Unless we put her in the Somnium machine. There is only circumstantial evidence linking So Sejima to the new Cyclops serial killings. I agree. But there has to be more to it. The Kumakuras had connections to both victims. Oh, I forgot how fine Shoko's ass was. So has a connection to the Kumakuras. Yo, my man Moma. There's a common link there. They have to be involved somehow. So also might have connections to Iris. Because So appeared in Iris's Somnium? Yeah, kind of sus. Yeah. I am more interested in the hired guns that So uses as bodyguards. I did some research and Is discovered any that Mr. Sejima on the hires of the case so security. far. Not a clue. If all of his security staff are this heavily armed, Yakuza gangs pale in comparison. Is So trying to start trouble? Unknown, but there is definitely more than he is letting on. There is an important piece of news. What is it? The Odoroki Man chocolate found at the warehouse. Fingerprints were found on it. Whose? Mayumi Matsushita's. Mm, so she was at the warehouse. What? Mayumi bought the chocolate at the convenience store 812 on Koshu. This was captured on security footage. Ah. 812 stores are commonly called 8s. 8 is not far from the Famisto where Ota stole the station wagon. Hold on a second. I'm having trouble keeping the facts straight. Allow me to summarize. Please. The chocolate was purchased yesterday at 10.33 p.m. At 8.12. That's the same time Ota stole that car. Correct. What conclusions can we draw from that? Unknown. All that is known for certain is that Mayumi bought the chocolate at an 8 store last night. And that same chocolate somehow ended up in the warehouse. Did she go there and drop it? It is possible. Well... That's weird. Sorry to interrupt your brainstorming, but there's a call from the boss. Connect me. Date, did you hear that Iris's operation is over? Yeah, I heard about it at the hospital. She made it, right? Yes, but she's still unconscious. We about to wake her up. Smack cam! She's currently in the ICU. No visitors allowed. All right. Ota, however, seems like he can talk now. He's out of treatment? Yeah, he's in a general ward now. Got it. I'll head over. I'll meet you there. You said she got her eye back? There's no way she got her eye back. Who returned it? How did it even get out in the first place? Nah, her eye is, is still gone. How are you feeling, Ota? Finally, Ota with different clothes. Bro, and Boss is in there? Looking fine as ever? If I was Ota, I would make sure like I'm turned to the side or something, because there's going to be a tent in my bed. You know, surprisingly, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm still under anesthesia, so I don't have any pain. All right, that's good. Ota, I'm sorry to put this on you right after your surgery, but can you talk to us for a minute? Ota almost seemed happy to answer, of course, because boss is fine as hell. Maybe it was the drugs, maybe it was the high from surviving a life or death situation, or maybe it was because he saved Iris. Yeah, sure. A bed. Hey, Date, I don't think I can sleep by myself tonight. That's what you're trying to say. I'm not sleeping with you. Will you sleep with me? Bro, you being mad weird right now, bro. Boss is right there. Come on. Why me? Oh, then that old woman over there is fine. Old woman? Old woman? <laughs> this guy's an idiot. Is it a bedside table when you move it away from the bed? 
I suppose then it's just a table. It's a beautiful sunset, I can't lie. I can't lie. You find any new clues? If I did, I would have told you already. Well, I was just asking you, sorry. Why did you come here, Dusty? I'm kind of interested in Ota. What about me? In me? You protected the woman you love. That's not easy to do. <laughs> Don't gas this bitch up. I wanted to meet the brave little hero. Hero? Little? I'm 24. He's 24? I thought this was like a 10 year old. To me, you're still little. I'll leave this to you, Date. Boss is like 40. No way. No way. I'd eat her. <laughs> no way. Oh my god. She's a 10 out of 10. Who stabbed you? Were you watching the stream? A big polar bear. Yes, I'm talking about who was inside. Did you see them? No. Whoever it was was probably wearing that costume to hide their identity. Her surgery was successful, right? Yeah, thanks to you. If you weren't there, Iris would have been in real trouble. I'm Tessa's biggest fan. Any fan would have done what I did. It's nothing special. It's as normal as... garlic and ramen. I think that depends on preference. Yes. Honestly, I'm a little bit scared of my new power. Dude, this guy, oh my god. When I locked eyes with that polar bear, I saw him start shaking. Dude, relax. You capping now. He saw how strong I was and got scared. No doubt. Bro, you literally got hit in the stomach. Ota's body temperature is rising. He capping. He's embellishing his story quite a bit. Yeah, you capping out your ass. I think we can let that go today. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. You hit me over the head with that walk, didn't you? Oh, uh, that was... That was what? I thought I needed to protect Tessa, so... Isn't there something you want to say to me? Sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay, but you're not gonna get a second chance. I won't do it again. I swear on Ganesha. Who the hell's Ganesha? You should swear to a god that's a little closer, kid. That's... <sighs> sorry. I promised that I wouldn't tell anyone. Then I'll tell Iris about your fake accounts. Oh, get him. You know what happens after that, right? Everything you built up here is gonna come crashing down. <sighs> but I can't tell you. Why not? Calm down and think about it. The criminal who attacked Iris is still out there. Iris might have seen the criminal's face. Whoever did this might come back to kill her. No. If you want to protect her, the fastest way is for us to catch this guy. But to do that, I need information. Okay. What happened after you left the diner? You mean after... hitting you with the walk? Yes, Mama Guevaso. Yes. I took Tessa in the van and we ran away. I drove for a while, then we decided to take a breather. I parked the car at Femisto on Koshu. I told Tessa I was gonna go in and buy something to drink. I got out of the car, and I went inside. But then, I heard Tessa screaming, Ota, help! I ran out of the store as fast as I could, but the car was driving away! I looked around, and I saw there was a car with its engine still on, and... Bro, it was his mom! The station wagon, right? That's the only person that could have done this, the mom, because the mom didn't like... The mom doesn't like Iris. Remember when she saw her? She was like, you witch, you! She doesn't like Iris. Yeah. Before I even realized what I was doing, I was behind the steering wheel. And then her having dementia 
just all adds to it because then the mom would always be in a state of like, I don't remember what I was doing. And then one of the biggest evidences slash clues is that she left the chocolate over there with her fingerprints. You say, how did the mom get back home though? She escaped through the back. She ran out through the back of the facility. She's the only person that, that, that right now I could think of. You say, you telling me she walked back home? Hey man, it's a video game. She's not, she's not a paraplegic. She could walk back home. She could just take the train back home. I didn't mean to steal it. I just needed to borrow it. The time was 10.33 p.m. Now we know why Ota stole the station wagon. Hmm. After stealing the wagon... I took the car, then drove out onto Koshu, but I couldn't find the van anywhere. I searched for what felt like hours. You didn't contact the police. I thought, after I hit you... You shouldn't have worried about that. But that's all that I was thinking at the time. I thought that if I called the cops, they'd arrest me. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was panicking. And that's why I didn't realize it right away. Realize what? My phone. I left my new phone in the car. Why is that so important? Because the phone had GPS on it. If I looked it up, I would find the location of the van. Smart. So I drove as fast as I could to an internet cafe and looked it up. That's when I found out my new phone was at a warehouse near the water. You know the rest. Mm. After running into the warehouse... Did you see me turn off the saw? Yes. Yeah, but everything after that was off screen. What happened? I honestly don't remember much. My mind went blank. I remember rushing the bear, and I think I was fighting him for a while. And we got tangled up. And then, before I knew it, he got me in the stomach with a knife. Bro, it's his mom! Didn't they talk about the kitchen knife? Didn't they talk about the kitchen knife in inside um, his mom's shop? Bro, they, they talked about the kitchen knife... Inside his mom's shop. Bro, it has to be his mom. It was his mom in the suit. Just to make absolutely certain, you didn't see who was in the suit? No, I didn't. Because if he got stabbed with a knife, who the only person that got a knife in this whole entirety of this game? The mom. Who's always in the kitchen inside the story of the game because she has dementia, thinking that her shop is still open when the shop is not open. The shop has been closing for years. The father has passed away for years. It gotta be the mom. Voice? Body type? Nothing. Sorry. Anything at all you can remember? You said, why would you stab your own son, though? Dementia! The mom has dementia! I'm sorry, I told you everything. I can't think of anything else. Are you sure? Yes. Date, look. Oh, come on. After all this, what is he trying to hide? Bro, just punch him, man. He's stuck on the bed. We could just knock him out and wake him back up. What about the Ororoki chocolate? Does this jog your memory? Oh, that. What? Do you know something about it? You don't have to show me the thermograph. It's written all over his face. Absolutely. Bro, at this point, I just want to start punching these kids in this story because... Yo, they're just lying out their ass. Remember when I told you about my day Saturday? I... 
kind of lied a little. Bro, you've lied the whole entirety of this game, you fucking bum. What did you lie about? When I got to Sunfish Pocket, I saw a sign that said the place was all rented out. That part is true. But after that, I said I went home, but I didn't. I was hanging out in Akihabara for a few hours. Is that when you bought your new phone? Yeah. Why did you hide that? Because... something happened after. ¿Y qué pasó? What happened? This must have been about 8.50. I was going to cross the intersection in Akiba, and I saw Mr. Okiura's car at the light. But when I got close, I saw Tessa driving it. Hmm? Iris was driving it? Huh? Whoa, you surprised me. I'm more surprised than you are. Is something wrong? What do you mean? Hey, Tessa, do you have a license? Oh, yeah, of course I do. Not have one. You don't have a license? Shh. Mr. Okiora asked me to run an errand. Who's Okiora? Is that is that the is that the SUI director? Renji. Renju. Renju? She was driving his car like a like a taxi cab driver? I had to borrow his car. Please don't tell anyone. Bro, this is this story is making no sense every time I get deeper into the story. Okay. You promise? Why are you driving a car without a license? Why are they allowing you to drive a car without a license? Anything for you. After that, the light turned green and she drove off. Was Iris the only one in the car? Yeah, it was just her. She was the only one in the car? How did she get the car? That's what I meant by that thing. An idle driving without a license is a huge deal. A person driving without a license, period, is a huge deal. So I kept quiet. Saturday at 6.15 p.m., Ota saw Iris and Renju together. They were leaving the Sunfish Pocket Building. Two and a half hours later, Ota witnessed Iris driving Renju's car. What are your thoughts? I'm just confused. This is sounding really bad for Iris. But consider the current circumstances. Iris had her left eye taken out by a criminal who is possibly the new Cyclops killer. And if Ota had not reached her in time, she would have been killed. What is going on here? Date, Ota is acting strange. I advise caution. What do you mean? He better not pull out a gun from under his curtain. <laughs> I don't believe it. Bro, what is going on? He's holding a knife. How did he get a knife in the hospital? Why does he have that? In any case, you know what you have to do now. Bro, just punch him once really fucking hard in the mouth. Knock him out. Like, like you have to punch with your whole chest. Like, punch him so hard that he literally just unconscious. Take it from him. Dude, this is, this is getting annoying, bro. I know. Mink him. <clears throat> Let me go. Let me go. What the hell do you think you're doing? Shut up. Just let me go. Finally, bro. Sleeping gas. Now you've done it. I can't question him like this. Nah, bro. You can still get information. Oh, we putting him on the shit! Inside his head. Yes! Put him on the freaking machine, bro! Oh my god, put this dumb motherfucker in the machine.
Nah, bro, and lock his ass in that. So annoying. Dante, as you know, the limit is six Bro, minutes. I have never been so annoyed by a character in a game until I met Ulta. Holy but shit! Are you like sure I'm trying to think okay? of what other character Ota have I dealt with in any surgery. other video game that's that's happens, as annoying as Ota. But He's so annoying. It's fine. Just get it done. Good enough for me. Pewter. Pewter, what's your crusty ass doing here, man? Oh my god. Ota fucking annoying. Kill him in the Somnium. Nah, bro, I ain't trying to go to jail. I just wish I could have punched him in the mouth. As a Dominican would say, El me tiene harto. El me tiene harto. Buena semilla. Mama huevas. Can you please take me with you? Yes. Yes, Iba. I will take you. I'm going to get you a bed. I'm going to get you some food. games and all Danganron pass. Otu is the worst character Spike Chunsoft has created. Yo, actually, bro. Because, like, even if I'm thinking of, like, Spike Chunsoft, like, if I'm thinking of Danganronpa. Like, I'm really trying to think of, a, of an annoying Danganronpa character. I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. Hiyoko, Hiyoko was just annoying because she kept on picking on my favorite characters. She was just a piece of shit. Also, the, um, the redhead. The redhead. Hifumi? You said not Kaito. No, I liked Kaito. Angie? We have to pray to Atua. I, I liked Angie. Angie was a whole pest. The freaking ting! Ting. The left, the left and forth, the left and shit. Wendy, the 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 donkey girl. Was that her name? Who was the donkey girl with the donkey lip? You said fuck everyone from V3. I liked a lot of people from V3. One thing I just didn't like is Avocado Boy. I feel like they didn't give him enough screen time. And then they made it seem like Avocado Boy was very important to the plot. And then I was just like, why did they, you know, wh why did the game do him like that? And he seemed like he was very important. Tenko was trash at V3. Degenerate male. She was like, Tenko was literally every girl or like a big portion of girls on Twitter. Degenerate male. Nah, fuck Sumuji. Sumuji was mid. Yeah, she was mid. You said I heard Tenko got ruined and and dang it, Rampa S. Is that the one where like the beach? You said at the movies about to see the black phone. Have a good rest of the stream. I actually wanted to watch that movie. It looks like it's really good. I love like those types of horror movies, and I heard a lot of people say it was good. Okay, can you please take me with you? As long as I have Wi-Fi, I don't need anything else. All right, say less. I got you. Sorry, we can't have pets. Damn, Date. Hm. Cold-hearted old man. Hey. Oh, we're in here? Is this a cold storage warehouse? Seems to be. Not a manga cafe? Or an otaku shop? Yo, you know what I just thought of, bro? You know what I just thought of? In before, in before all this bullshit was a whole setup by Ota so he could look cool on Twitter that he's saving his favorite freaking um, VTuber idol and his mom is also in on it just so they could look good in the internet but then shit went wrong when the actual origami killer came and try to fuck shit up. Bro, if, if that shit actually happens, bro, I'm gonna be extra angry. Not a manga cafe or an otaku shop. No, but, but a warehouse is a common know, man. Anything is possible. in live action dramas. You know a lot. Predicting this, I did some research on Ota's taste. I see. I said By origami way, killer, I'm sorry. It's a fucking eye killer. 
Either that, or everything else is... The music is too loud, you're right. Interesting. Hey, that's... No polar bear! Iris is about to be... Stop right there! The heavens call. The earth cries out. The crowds roar. All calling on me to strike back against evil. Hold on, Tessa. I will save you. Is this from the stream we saw earlier? This is Ota's memory of it. It appears to be a bit exaggerated. All right, let's help reproduce the memory. Somnium scan, activate! like Ota so much. Reproduce the fiery battle between Ota and the polar bear. Save Iris, save the world. Curse you, polar bear! I will vanquish you! Kiwi o de la tehu hashidu That's the fucking Featherman song, man. What if I rush in? I'll slip on the ice and fall! Like this. Not you sliding on your neck. Yo, face down, ass up. Damn it! If I go in like that, I'll have nothing to show for it. All of it amounts to nothing. What will I do? I don't know what that was exactly, but the knowledge you gained might be useful. I did not want to use my local storage space for this. Damn, I'm tiny. Charge forward, secure the route. So we gotta change, so we gotta fix the icy floor. The ice on the floor is slick. Yo, these are a lot of seconds. Holy shit. Is there anything else I can interact with? Iris is on the platform. Throw ice at her. Ears. Tessa's catchphrase. Yeah, if anything is gonna make her react, it's that. All right. Ears. Headset. Head. A said. No, not you. This will probably not help wake Iris. Iris is on the platform. Wake her. Iris! Hey! Are you okay? Tessa! Guess she's not waking up. I'm using these so I can get the points. Iris is on the plat. Throw ice at her. This is an ice cold one. I see what you did there. Just throw it. Yeah! Good, huh? I believe that Ota has to be the hero of this story. Then he needs a little more motivation. The ice on the floor is slick. I guess jump on it? Let's try to jump on it. The orthodox method. Understood. Huh? I did it. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Those who don't fight won't survive. Ah! Damn, he 
tackle them. Oh, there's two splitting routes. There's two path splits here. I don't know which one to go for, but whatever I go for, I'm just going to go for it. choice but to find the glory of victory escort him to the green shelf or shining light escort him to the red shelf let's let's escort him to the red shelf agent Dante you've got five minutes Oil drug, though it is lying down. Roll? I can't fill it. Let's roll it. Ugh. Oh, it worked. We did something. Is he nutty? Oh, that's the mom's knife! Oh, I don't wanna die! It has the fucking floral pattern from her apron! It's the mom! The mom has the dementia inside the bear suit! Bro, it's his mom! I eventually stopped thinking. That's... Tessa! Damn, that quick crawl. Damn, the headbutt. S stand your ground! Odamatsu Shida cowers to no one! Okay. I, I took the red route. I have to fight back with something! Hit the, hit the control? Wait, what's that over there? Fuck, man. OBS keeps on freezing, dude. The remote control. The power board. What's this? It appears to be a power panel. <laughs> Pray. Let's it pray. Appears to be a I just want to try something. Let's pray. Please move. Miracles and magic are real. No, they aren't. It appears to be a power panel. Throw something at it. The ice. This is an ice cold one. Do it again. Iba, aim for the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Nice! Really help Iris like that? Regardless of the truth, right now, 
I am Ota's last hope. I have to help him up. This is annoying. <laughs> oh my god, this one is dumb, dude. Agent Date, you've got four minutes. A remote control. It fell when Ota ran into the shelf. I don't know, bro. Let's press a button on it. Here it goes. I hear some sounds, but no response. I swore and I were coming out with the ringings, written in song. Yes. I'm not sure I should press it. Ota might need to. Yeah, Ota. Ota needs to? Ota, you motherfucker. Ota looks frightened. He cannot stand. Oh my god, all of these have weird stuff. I guess the only thing that we can do is cheer him on. But Timmy will not be used. I don't even know how much points is it going to take. Bro, it's not even giving me time. It's just giving me colors. What does this mean? Cheer him on. Ota will feel the worth of Iris's peace when he grasps it. The ghost inside me whispered. I hate this. I hate this so much. That's right. I can't run away now. I can't sacrifice Tessa. Awaken the soul. Oh, the hook. Maybe this. And then she's gonna stab him. Data, you've hit the limit. Time's up. Wait, I can almost make out their face. Pewter, force shut down. No! Stop. Stop it! Don't force shut down. We got it. That we needed it. it's the mother it's 100 percent the mother bro we're getting deeper and deeper into this rabbit hole monday okay What were you thinking? You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. Bitch, we had more than enough time, bro. We had like over two, three minutes left. Yelling at me. Any longer and you risk getting your mind completely taken over by the subject. You think Ulta gonna take over my mind? This dumbass motherfucker? You think he gonna take over? I know. No, you clearly don't. This isn't just about you, Date. If your consciousness erodes inside of Somnium, you put the subject in danger as well. Bro, it's just Ota. It don't even matter. If I may? Fortunately, there were no abnormalities detected in the brainwaves after the sink. Thank you, Pewter. Date and Ota both read normal. Thank you, Pewter. Although, the timing was really close. What was I supposed to do? You saw it, boss. You too, Pewter. Yup. I was about to see the culprit's face. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily. 
We need to verify that Ota did, in fact, see the culprit's face. That's the only way it could have ended up in his Somnium. Well, Ota? Huh? You saw the killer's face at the warehouse, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see their face. If I did, I would have told you guys already. Cap. You see? I mean, I did try to get a look at them when the polar bear fell over. They looked like they were knocked out, so I tried to grab the head part. But as soon as I did, I got stabbed in my gut. That is what we witnessed in his Somnium. Yeah. Yeah, why were you hiding the knife in your room? Because I was scared. Scared? Scared of what? The killer could come here to finish the job. But you didn't get a good look at their face, right? Exactly. But they don't know that. I had it prepared just in case. Cap. You know what I'm talking about, right, Date? Preparing in advance in case you might need it. Like making sure your room is nice and clean before you go to a party. Oh, sorry. You probably don't have any experience with that. You wanna talk shit? Bro. Bro. You got your ass beat by a polar bear. Guess what? I got all the clues. You got fucked up by your own mom. I have more experience than you. About the hook in the and the polar bear's leg. Ota, let me ask you something. When you were fighting the polar bear back at the warehouse, did the crane hook get stuck on the polar bear's leg? Now that you mention it, maybe it did. Maybe? It's like I told you, I don't really remember much. With all the tension and excitement and fear and adrenaline, my mind just went blank. But now that we're talking about it, I remember. Yeah. No doubt about it, the crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. And then, when the hook got pulled out, blood sprayed all over. Mm, so if the victim's blood is there, why don't we just take evidence? Date, I checked all of the hospitals in the metropolitan area. None have a record of a patient admitted after 3 a.m. with a wound to the left leg. If what I saw in Somnium is how it happened in real life, that was a deep wound. Yes, he it was. definitely would have needed first aid. Perhaps a friend or accomplice helped them. You think there are multiple killers? That is not what I said. They may have helped the culprit, but not necessarily been involved in the crimes. So we know that the culprit has a deep wound on their left leg. That information could be crucial in catching them. Date, get out there. Look for people with an injured left leg. I know who the fuck it is already! How exactly? Can't you just go ask around or something? Are you serious? Yeah, we're going straight to the store! Do you know how many people live in this city? <sighs> what? Date, what's happening? Date, what is the matter? Please don't tell me you're catching a stroke. Wake up, Date! 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 Are you alright? Tuesday. C is... CSI? CSI? <gasps> oh my god, how many days have I been out? Hey, this is... Oh, you're alive. Suki? What happened? You drank too much at the club and passed out. No, I didn't. Liar. I remember everything until I collapsed in the control room. You did something dangerous during the sink last night, didn't you? Oh, it was just last night, okay. Your brain got overloaded and you passed out. Oh. <sighs> 
That's what Pewter and Boss said. You met them? They brought you over. They said to let you sleep it off because you were tired from the investigation. Wait, Mizuki's bed? Where the fuck is my bed? Bro, you took over my bed. Computer. File cabinet. Bunch of documents. Where's Ota? He probably went back to the hospital. Boss told Mizuki about Ota being synced. And about what happened at the cold storage warehouse. Why did she tell her all that? Why? Mizuki was asking about the status of the investigation. Oh my god, Mizuki. And Boss, you told her? The girl has lost both her parents. I am sure Boss felt that she deserved to know. Did Boss and Pewter say anything? Oh, Date's brain is rotting away. He won't last long now. Pewter said that? You should probably prepare for a funeral soon. Pewter said that? So they told you I'm completely fine, huh? Hmm. I detect no noticeable damage to your brain. I'm you fine. You should not have any issue continuing the investigation. I'm off today. Why? Today is Tuesday. You should have school. You really can be an insensitive jerk, can't you? I'm taking the day off for morning. Morning? Oh. I forgot. This motherfucker died at the fish pocket. I see. Hey, will you take me with you? Yo, you know what? Just come with me, man. I told you yesterday, Mizuki. Yo, Doctor, just take her, bro. I won't put you in danger like that. Just take her at this point, bro. She's in the house by herself every day. But you're close to catching the culprit, right? The killer has an injury on their left leg. Boss said you need to find them. Let me help you. No, you stay here. Date, don't you know how I feel? Oh, let's just take her. My parents are dead. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. If I don't do something, I'm going to go crazy. Yo, let's just take her. Date, please. Oh my god, now she's crying. Now, now, now I feel bad. Date, let's take her. Man, stop playing. She looks so fucking sad. Take her. <laughs> she crying. Yo, Date, take her. We gotta take her to go get some McDonald's. Date, consider Mizuki's feelings. Yes, let's go take her to McDonald's. She is lonely. Yes. Mizuki has not been with Renju and Shoko for four years, but clearly she still feels a bond to them. A bond that was broken by the murderer. With her parents gone, Mizuki has almost no one. You said, where the ice cream truck at? Facts. I'm getting her the Sonic ice cream. The one with the gumball eyeballs that's always slanted and not completely centered like the photo. She can only depend on one person now. You know to whom I am referring. Yes, we're taking her. Mizuki, let's go. Fine, let's go. You're gonna take me? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Date. Not true. She she has to come with us because when you stay when you stay by yourself for a long time, locked up in an area, your mind just eats at you. You have to distract yourself and, you know, go out and shit. Here, wipe your tears. We're heading out. Alright, let's go. Date, I must admit, I am at a disadvantage. The clue that the culprit is injured on their left leg does not help me narrow down suspects significantly. I know exactly who it is. We need to revisit the scene. It's possible that we might find the culprit at one of the crime scenes. I know exactly who it is. Or ask around the city for further information. No, can I just go to the location? I know exactly who it is. There we go. Where's it at? Oh my god, you're not gonna let me go directly to the location, bro? Bro! Oh my god, you're gonna make me walk all around. The Matsushita diner, Diners are home? 
I remember telling you before that Bloom Park is an important part of my memories. Before it shut down, I came here a lot with Daddy and Mom. They fought a lot, but sometimes they got along. Whenever we were here, it was one of those sometimes days. I remember it clearly. I was just a little girl, but it was so rare to see them laughing together. That's why I remember it so well. I remember riding the merry-go-round like this. Mom was standing right next to me. She was holding me, so I wouldn't fall. I'm surprised she could even come here. I couldn't get on many of them because I was so little, but I did ride the Ferris wheel and the Panda ride. They're kind of tame now, but at the time they were really fun. I was having so much fun, it felt wrong. Like it was too good to be true. Other than last Friday? Nope, I haven't. This place has been off limits for almost a decade. Even if it wasn't, I don't think I would want to come back here. Why is that? Because my mom died. How can I explain it? I guess I just wanted to keep that memory beautiful. I didn't want to ruin it or replace it with another. True. But in the end, it was replaced by the worst memory possible. Daddy was on the outside taking pictures of me and mom. He was on the other side of the fence with an old camera. Every time we passed in front of him, mom and I would wave our hands. <laughs> we sound like a happy family, huh? He must have gotten good pictures. No, actually. We tried developing them at the park, but they came out all blurry and out of focus. But Mom wasn't mad or upset or anything. She just started laughing. Bro, I can't lie. My dad that used might to be like that first with the pictures. And last time the three of us laughed out loud together. She about to ask me. Hey, Date. What? How do you define family? Define it? You mean like being blood related? That would mean you and I could never be family. Don't think like well, that. Well, I guess that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> this is what I think a family is a perfectly ordinary relationship in the most ordinary way. Oh, this is about to get deep. Family doesn't have to be blood related. Family could be something that you and a person share a bunch of memories, have confidentiality and respect for each other, and you guys grow a bond slash connection that can never be broken or severed through the end of time, if that makes any sense. You guys build this mutual relationship and care about each other to a point of where nothing can sever, break, or, you know, stop that feeling, you know? Damn, this shit sounds like some Undertale shit. Huh? Like, you say, I'm home, and you get a welcome home back. Doing those ordinary things automatically, without even thinking about it, is what a family is. That's why maybe me and mom and daddy weren't able to be a family. Our whole lives, we never could be ordinary. Even if I tried my hardest to be normal, it would just be awkward. Eventually, I got tired of trying. I killed them. What? I killed. Oh my God. Mom and daddy. Oh my heart. No, don't say that. Date, go hug her, please. Date, go hug her, please. Nah, I can't hear somebody say that. That shit would just break my heart. I can't. No, you did not do that. Don't think like that. I... I was never a good girl. Nah, don't I say that. I didn't listen to mom. I couldn't do ordinary things. That's why mom hit me. And why mom and daddy didn't get along. And why they got divorced. Then Damn. mom had to start working. 
and start doing business with dangerous people. If I was just a good girl, Mom wouldn't have been killed. This, all of this, is all my fault. Damn. Dante, give her a hug, man. Why me? Hey, oh, shit. haven't you had enough? Why me? I'm not married, so take this with a grain of salt, but it's not just you, right? Doesn't every family have a tough time raising children? Our child is abnormal! Damn. Abnormal? Ever since she was a baby, no child should cry at night as much as she did. Bro. Babies are gonna be babies no matter what. Babies always cry at nighttime, bro. You gotta, you just gotta, especially newborns, you just gotta make sure that they're awake during the daytime. And when it gets close to nighttime, that's when you put them to sleep. Because the biggest mistake people keep on making whenever they have a baby, especially a newborn, is they let that little dude sleep throughout the entirety of the day when the sun is out. Then once nighttime hits, that little motherfucker's awake the whole night on some. <laughs> Good, good. Like that's where you make the mistake. You gotta make the baby stay awake during the day, and then you gotta learn how to swaddle the baby. You gotta learn how to turn that baby into a tight ass burrito, and you put the little dude to sleep. No child should dislike buggy rides that much. No child should ask to be picked up and hugged all the time. Damn, Shoko, then why the fuck you have a kid? God damn. Shoko, she, she she gives off she gives off she gives off the vibes of one of those people that like wants to have a kid because they see everybody on the internet post cute Instagram pictures of them and then once they have the kid and they realize how hard it is to actually raise a child and have that responsibility then they start bitching like this. She's still abnormal even now. Other children would have learned to clean up after themselves by now. That's a kid. They would be studying, going to bed on time, waking up on time. Nah, bro. Yet why is my little girl? She sounds like a normal kid to me. Exactly, as a normal kid. Maybe the problem isn't with Mizuki. Maybe it's you. Tell her, Date. Yup, you the problem. I'm doing more than anyone. Well, shut your ass up. Our child is stupid, brain dead, abnormal. Man, you a bitch. Maybe that's why that's why Renju left your ass. God damn. 100 percent that's why Renju left your ass. Shit. Renju was probably like, damn man, I shouldn't have nothing in I should not have nutted in this bitch. I nutted in crazy. I can't lie though. Shoko must have been nuts in the bedroom, bro. She must have been riding that shit like a goddamn pogo stick, but But nah, he shouldn't have nutted in her. Shoko the type of person to get on top of you and then she'd be like in your ear Not in me Renju's probably like uh, 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 Raggy, what are you talking about? She the type of person to clasp her legs On your back when you hitting a missionary and you're like hey let go let go and she's like nah you gonna finish Let go Let go Date honey, you can't work her up like that But nah, she's not fit to be a mom she is not fit to be a mom. You should not. Mm -mm. Yo, mama, say something to this bitch. She bugging. I'll take a drink. Sure you aren't drinking too much, honey? If you pass out, there's no way I can control her. All right, mama. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. You're right. You should scold her. Hey, Shoko. No, no. No, no, no. There, I scolded her. Okay, Mama. Shit. Wh what do you think, Mama? I think she's loaded. Let her get this off her chest. I mean, true. Mama's polishing the bonito, as usual. Hi, yi, yi. All right, Shoko, what the fuck is up with you? Listen to the rest of the story. I quit my job for that girl. I threw away the career that I built with my own hands. I raised my child at the expense of my own life. Bro, if you don't want to have a child, you shouldn't have had a child in the first place, bro. But one little slap. Are you hitting your kid? Damn. There's nothing I can do. I have no choice. 
Damn, bro, you don't gotta beat the little kid. I know you should never raise your hand to a child. I can't lie, Shoko might have a little bit of Spanish in her because every Spanish kid got that ya yeet a couple times in their life. I know that, I know that. But I have a good reason. And what's the good reason? She doesn't listen to me, so what else am I supposed to do? Not hit her. I mean, you could at least tell her, hey, what you're doing is wrong. I'm gonna take away your iPhone. You're gonna have no more Coco Melon. But I wanna watch Coco Melon. No, you're not gonna see no Coco Melon. Get out of here. What the hell do you mean, what am I supposed to do? That's no reason to hit a child. So of course she starts crying. And it's so irritating that I have to hit her again to get her to stop. Yo! I'm getting Dominican vibes from this lady. And Mizuki cries and cries some more. Claro que si ella va a llorar porque tú le estás dando. Si tú me das, yo voy a llorar. Y tú crees que yo no voy a llorar más. You hit me like two, three times. What you want me to... No, but you know what's crazy? This is big Spanish parent mentality. They be like, hey, if you keep on crying, I'm going to hit you. And you're like, <laughs> mink. They hit you again. And you're just like, <laughs> you got that one teardrop coming down. <laughs> And then they're like, yo, keep on crying. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna show you what to cry about. Keep she on crying. Mizuki with the Luigi Dash attack. You said Luigi Dash attack? Yeah, I'm gonna give you something to cry about. <laughs> why are you crying? Because you're hitting me. If you're gonna cry, why didn't you just listen to me in the first place? Awesome. Then I wouldn't have to hit you. Jesus. Stupid Mizuki. Damn. Stupid girl. Damn. It's not my fault. Everything is her fault. Mm -mm. Have you talked to Renju about this? I'm trying. I'm trying harder than anyone. Why doesn't anyone see that? Why doesn't anyone understand? <laughs> Jesus. Date. Yeah, I'll talk to Renju about this. Jesus. It was my misunderstanding. What do you mean? I thought that mothers love their children unconditionally. But some mothers just can't do that. Renji, you nutted and crazy. That's what's happening. Well, no. Maybe she does love her. But she has a hard time of it. Shoko was never hugged by her mother. So why are you nutting her? Not because her mother wasn't around. She was raised to never develop a sensitivity to affection. No hugs, no piggyback rides, nothing. So why you gave her a kid? That's the last person that I... Bro, I told you, bro. Nah. Shoko, I would have been beating it up. But definitely not having a kid with her. Nope. If she never got that type of affection, what makes you think she gonna give it to, to a child after she gets one? If she never grew up with that type of, like, you know, connection. Hell no. Red flag. Maybe that's why she doesn't know how to love Mizuki. Exactly. That's, that's, a, that's a major reason why. When an animal raised in captivity gives birth, sometimes it just doesn't know how to raise its young. Exactly. It's just like that. Nah, bro. Mama, say something to this guy. Yo, Mama, did you lose weight? I'm not going to let you set up a joke. I'm not, you look good. Listen to Ren's story. What do you think? Why are you asking me about raising a child, hmm? I, I don't know, I'm just asking. Maybe in the future a little son son could happen. Yeah, good point. Really? You're not even going to say, oh no, mama, you'd be a great mother. Nah, mama, I think you'd be an excellent mom. And you look good. What time are you closing tonight? When you two are done talking. All right, Mama, thank that's you. That's when I'll close up. Thank you, Mama. Sorry about this. Don't worry, I'm gonna make sure I give you a tip. I do feel bad about Shoko. But that doesn't mean she's blameless in all this. Someone has to put a stop to it. If I could have, I would have done it a long time ago. What about counseling? I did recommend that. She told me, I'm not sick. Why should I go see a doctor? Bro, she's one of those. Oh my gosh, she's so problematic. Even when you recommend, hey man, you, you seem like you're you're going through a lot of problems. You should go seek help. 
Oh no, I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. Mizuki is the problem. Mizuki is the sick one. Damn, and you gonna say your kid's the sick one? Maybe it's best if Mizuki and Shoko are separated. No, Mizuki would never leave Shoko. She wouldn't hear of it. Mizuki and Shoko are practically attached at the hip. Even with all of the hitting? Yeah. Yes. Even if she's abused on a daily basis, even if she's treated like garbage, maybe. Mizuki is hungry for love. Mm. She craves praise and attention and physical affection. She wants it from her mother. That's why she's so attached. Yo, thank you, Delta. What did I miss? A lot. Thank you so much for the resub, man. Couldn't you step in and take over the parenting? I have a company now. Lemniscate. And we're at a crucial stage of development. I can't take even a single second out of my day to deal with a kid. My question is, why doesn't the mom... The mom keep talking about, oh, she gotta work, this, that, and the third. Bro, if Renju owns a company, I think they make enough money for the mom to not have to worry about getting a job herself and being so stressed. You said they divorced? Hey, that's your daughter you're talking about. Maybe because you two can't cooperate on raising a child, Shoko is having trouble coping. That might be it. Maybe this is partially my fault. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna say it. You two are both awful parents. Yikes. I knew about the whole thing. That's why four years ago, I decided to start taking care of Mizuki. Nah, shout out to Date for stepping up. Mind you, Date is out here buying her McDonald's and he ain't even the real pop. Like in that one video on TikTok where the guy is like, hey, I brought McDonald's for my kids. Oh, what about my three other kids? Those ain't my kids. Date stepped up and he's like, nah, I'm bringing her McDonald's. I don't give a fuck. Bay Zed, go to dad. <laughs> nah, man, go give her a hug, Date. Mizuki, you did nothing wrong. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Not one single thing was your fault. <laughs> Date, go hug her, please. Damn, they got the sad ass music playing too. Y'all trying to have me crying. Chat, give me a second. I gotta make myself some oatmeal. Friday night facts for Monday morning McDonald's with Mizuki. <laughs> Monday morning McDonald's. M M M. Monday morning McDonald's with Mizuki. Yo, son, hold on, real quick. Fire Emblem, what unit should I roll for? We got the we got the summon on the Tempest Trials. Should I go blue, red, or or green? I said, I mean blue, red, or gray. Which one should I go? Blue, red, or gray? I could either get low. I could try to get Loki, Niffle, or Erica. Fuck it. You said blue. Oh shit! There's one blue on the top. All right, we're gonna we're gonna roll. Oh shit! What we get? What we get? What we get? Santa. All right, let me get myself some oatmeal.
Okay, I'm sorry, man. I was, I was trying to look for my freaking... What the hell is this? Oh, I need this. Hold on. Oh. I was looking for my damn plate. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's continue. Oh, in like three minutes, I gotta go get my oatmeal. Okay. Um, this fucking music, bro. It's so sad. Oh, the controller died. Fuck. Now, luckily, I have a spare controller. I have two controllers just for this. All right, let's go to the shrine. One controller for each clone. 
Huh? Why are we at the shrine? Did you come here to pray that you find the criminal? No, I don't believe in God. Wow, how edgy teen of you. Oh, shut up. Don't call me a teen. You're 12. Well, you said that you got the shoulders of a 40-year-old. That's not even remotely similar. So why are we really here? I sometimes come here when an investigation stalls. It helps me think. Sometimes I even solve the case from here. This is a quiet, peaceful little spot in the middle of a violent city. It's calming. It keeps all of the bad thoughts away. Didn't expect you to be such a poet. You could at least call me a romantic. Same thing. They're not at all the same thing. It's the difference between someone who's frugal and someone who's cheap. You're stubborn about weirdly specific things. second chat let me just send a text um the dynamic that these two have is too good You so said I'll cook you some breakfast. Some delicious breakfast. Okay. Coming here reminds me of when I trained you. Call me yeah. master. It's been a while since we came here last. I have nothing more to teach you. Let us see the results of your training. She's gonna destroy those in one shot. Peek in! Oh my god. She's a demon. She's better well, than Sakura. This is on you. Huh? Hey! What are you two doing? Mizuki! Run for uh, it! Wait for me! <laughs> Straight dipped. Knocked down the whole tree. Damn. By the way, whatever happened to those kids who bullied you? She killed them. Oh, did I not tell you? No, you haven't said anything about it. She became the boy. I didn't want to pry. They stopped bugging me as soon as I threatened to fight back. They targeted some other kids instead. They did terrible things. So I... I broke all their front teeth. Jeez. Jeez. Hey, since we're here, let's go into the shrine. 
I told you, I don't believe in that stuff. Come on, come on! Damn, broke all their front teeth. They out here looking like Steelixes. What did you ask for? To leave this boring place as soon as possible. And you? <laughs> it's a secret. When you tell people your wish, it won't come true. Then why did you ask me? <laughs> because if your dream doesn't come true, mine is more likely to. Oh my god. You're more crooked than a hernia. A hernia. Huh? Anyway, where to next? Bro, we're going all over town, dude. Yo. Okay, let me get my oatmeal. We're going all over town. fuck is gonna be over here bro man we come here so fucking often this fucking cold storage this is where iris and ota almost got killed right it gives me goosebumps you scared that's rare hey kagami you here. need to chill okay Dante. you need to get better jokes I understand. No, I but shut up, please. Chill, meaning both cold and relax. A pun intended. Don't explain it, it's embarrassing. Kagame! Do you like your line of work? Well, I don't dislike it. Of course, depending on the case, sometimes it does get pretty discouraging. But that just makes the job all the more important, right? It means it really makes a difference in the world. You're a great guy. 
You should learn from him. Do you know why I do this job? What keeps me going? I heard you became a cop so you could steal underwear from the gym and not get in trouble. Who told you that? I'll show them trouble. What's your name? <laughs> oh, wait. I remember. It's Kagami. It was Kagami, right? Yes! What did you say? Oh, sorry. My fault. Must be mistaken. No. No! You're exactly right. Wow. What's the matter with you? Sorry, I just get so emotional sometimes. Don't cry, Kagami. Date, this guy is kind of weird. You're right, Mizuki. Stay away. That's messed up. Huh? What? There are a lot of weirdos out there. What? If you get a bad feeling, trust your instincts and don't get too close. That's so mean. Yeah, I'll be careful. Hey. Why you did that a Kagami, bro? This might sound weird coming from me, but don't push yourself too hard, okay? <sighs> Thank you for caring. It means a lot. Again with the what's your name? Huh? I'm sorry. I just totally forgot. Date's a dickhead. Date, sir. Hmm? What is it? This is how it's supposed to be. A man like you doesn't have to remember the names of people like me. But we're co-workers. We both work for the MPD. Isn't it rude to not remember your name? No, no, not at all. It has to be this way. All right, if you say so. No, not so far. We see each other a lot. Yeah, you're right. Maybe in a previous life we... Taro. You must be Taro, right? Oh my god, no, no way. I'm not Taro. No way. How does he keep getting the fucking name wrong? Could I have your jacket? Oh, wait. Never mind. That jacket probably hasn't been washed in years. Who said I'd give it to you anyway? Don't disregard good intentions so casually. Mizuki is a quick thinker. You are her father figure now. You should praise her so she matures. I don't want her to mature. She's trouble enough as it is. Anything on your mind? The polar bear. Where did he hurt his leg? He did get hurt, right? The boss lady said so. Mm -hmm. The crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. Where's the crane hook? And then, when the hook got pulled out, blood sprayed all over. That's right. The polar bear must have been bleeding badly at this warehouse. That means... About the blood. Give me one second, chat. Sending a message to someone. Chat, what day is Viernes? Viernes is on Friday, right?
Okay. You say fake the minigun? Has to be in the crane. Evidence marker. Mm. I wonder who put the camera equipment there. Was it the mother? Why would the mom have all that equipment? To stream it? How does the mom know how to stream? There's so many fucking questions. Huh? What do you mean? This is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I know you said Renju doesn't own it or anything, but... I thought maybe you might have seen it before. No, not at all. Really? Yes, stop being annoying. Why would I lie about that? Mm. Somewhere in the frozen warehouse is the polar bear's blood. The blood of the person in the polar bear costume. Is it in the box? What would happen if I put you in that box and then dropped a five ton weight on it? I'm dead. I'd die, obviously. Well, you couldn't fit me in the box anyway. Oh. I'll just cut you into pieces then. You're terrible. Mm -hmm. Ota was down around here, right? Correct. The bloodstains there must belong to Ota. Correct. No, wait. That's where the polar bear's leg was pierced by the hook. Exactly. What if Ota... Look. What if Ota knows it's his mother and he purposely put himself... Look. You know what's even crazier? What if... What if the polar bear never even stabbed him? What if he stabbed himself to cover for his mom's bullshit? Date, I've analyzed the blood. The blood stain here is not from a single person. Mm. Two different blood types are present. Mm. One of them is most likely Ota's. Yup, and the other one is the culprit, which is his mother. He probably knows that his mother was the one behind the suit due to the fact of him probably seeing the knife that she took out because the knife was a big tell that it belonged to his mother. So with that, he probably was like, oh, hell no. I can't have my mom get arrested. I can't have my mom locked up. He probably knows of her dementia. And he was like, let me cover for the shit that she's going through so she doesn't get arrested and, and into trouble. That, that could be a possibility. The other. Because if you think about it realistically, anybody in the chat, if you're in a situation where, you're, where, you, where you feel like your mom is gonna get locked up or a family member you really care about is gonna get in trouble, you're gonna try everything in your power to help them out because you know that that's your parents, you know? Craziness. Hey, do you have DNA forensics on that blood stain? Of course, yeah. Kagami, my Already man. I sent it to the lab to be analyzed. I'm just waiting to hear back. Why are you waiting? Because that blood is from Ota Matsushita's wound, right? I didn't think there was any need to rush the results. Tell them we need it analyzed urgently. Highest priority. The culprit's blood is mixed with Ota's. Yes, sir. Understood. You did it, Date. 
We're making progress. Yes, yes. If this goes well, we can identify the criminal with a single test. They're both gonna have the same blood type. But it might take some time for the results to come out. They're both no gonna point have the same here. blood type because it's mother. We might as well check somewhere it's else. It's the mother and it's the son. Got it. Damn. Let him escape. His dad dead, right? I don't know. They say it. But for all we know, the dad's probably... Oh. Oh. She gonna say something. Mizuki gonna say something out of pocket right now. Mizuki about to say something out of pocket. Oh my god. Why are these the... Why are these the things to say to her? By the way, what's your cup size? Oh, two. Well, of course it would be two cups. Three cups would be a nightmare. Date, why are you asking that? Soft. Date, what are you doing? Sorry, what? Does this have anything to do with the investigation? Uh, no. Mizuki punched me in the gut and dragged me back to where I was. Oh my god. Let's go to Atami together. Huh? What? What are you doing? Let's go to Atami together. I'm putting the investigation on hold. I'm going to Atami with her. I've made up my mind. You can't stop me. Side effects of the medication. This is acute brain failure. Yo, let's go to Atami together. Wait, are you serious? Yes. Do I look like I'm joking? Let's go to Atami together. Date, you're being annoying again. Do you know how angry I can get, Date? Let's go to Atami together. Let's go to Atami. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I took her hand and we led out of Lemniscate. I left Iba behind. Yo! Hmm? Yo! Goodbye, police officer life. Hello, Atami Shizuka. I decided to begin a new life as a carnival worker in the hot spring town. What? The end. Chat, GG's. Yo! Date and Tommy's date route end? Nah. Yo, it really ended? We beat the game, let's go. Yo, them! They, yo! There is no way, dude. There is no way. The game that was a that was an ending. There's no way. It was a secret joke ending? No way.
Do reopen? What do you mean reopen? No! Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said do reopen? Oh, thank God. Thank God. I cannot believe that was even an optional route. Someone got to make a dungeon based on that ending. Yo, that's crazy. Uh, no, sorry. But I did see a guy who had legs like a horsehair crab. Like a crab? What? Sounds horrifying. Sometimes we would talk when I came over to hang out. What kind of things did you talk about? Nothing special. The usual. The usual? Are you doing well? Have you been eating right? Huh. So that's the usual. That Good was a idea. crazy ending. You might find something important in there. Investigator Ranger's office, but I didn't find anything that could be a clue. Damn. No hits. Do not be discouraged. Bad days and sore feet are part of the job. Time to earn my paycheck, I guess. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Sunfish pocket. That's crazy. That was such a silly ending. And I even got a trophy for it. Where is that? <laughs> it even has a picture of her. Um, Date's Atami's date route end. Asked out the receptionist to Atami. That is such a silly trophy, man. Man. I visited the sunfish pocket with Mizuki. Where Renju was killed. Once again, I looked for any clues that, that we might have missed. I guess it was a waste of time. Yeah, I didn't find any clues. You look like you want a beer. Yeah, just one. I would like a beer. You too. can't have any, you're driving. Oh, right. Actually, I would like a beer myself. I think. Oh, damn, the CVS is about to close. Never mind. There's no way I could get a beer. Ryugu water, 980 yen. 980 yen? Yep. For water? Not just water, seawater. Ugh. You can't even drink it. Which one is your type, Date? Where is this coming from? Yeah. Just tell me. Well, let's see. Wow, you're really thinking about it? What you asked? Disgusting. You asked. You asked. Get on my, get on my case. If I had to pick one, I say the second one from the left on the top row is my type. Of course, it came down to it. I wouldn't say no to any of them. Because this is where daddy's corpse was? I told you before, it's fine. I was the one who said I wanted to come with you, so... Um, not really. Yeah, nothing we can do here. Alright, 
Finally, the hospital. We're getting closer. I still can't believe that was an ending with the with the receptionist. At, at least we had a nice story. We retired our life of being a freaking police officer and became a carnival carnival ride person. That's crazy. Mizuki. Oh. And Date. The bitch of a mom is there. Ota, are you okay? Yeah, totally. Oh, I don't want to get in your way. Nah. I should head home before no. I cause any more trouble. No, stay no, here. No, not at all. You're fine right here. Are you right limping? Here. No, really, I should go. I'm sure that he has more fun with his friends than with me. So... If she start limping... Thanks, Mizuki. I don't trust. Huh? You came to visit me, right? Oh, yeah. Right. It would be awkward to admit we are only here for the investigation. True. Yeah. Let's just act like we're here to see him a little bit. So, how you doing, Ota? <sighs> when will the day come when Iris is sleeping beside me? My guess is never. A little horny. How are you? Forget me. Are you okay? You passed out last night. How do you know? Yeah, I'm fine. I feel much better after a good night's sleep. It sounded like you were having a nightmare. You kept moaning something about Reika. Reika. Seriously? Seriously. No, just what I told you yesterday. All right. You know, if you weren't in the hospital, I would slap you upside the head so hard you start remembering things again. Like shock therapy? Whoa, old school. I thought Abyss was more future tech than that. We are, but if it ain't broke... Don't fix it. You can learn a lot from the past. I see. Maybe you should hit him. No, no. No way. Ota's pretty energetic for being in bed all day. He's the type that gets annoying around women. Damn. About the investigation. So, we still don't know who the culprit is? If you remember anything at all, please, tell me. Well... Maybe that all depends. If you could get me, say, Tessa's toothbrush, it might jog my Why memory. Why you want the toothbrush? Are you really gonna do this in front of Mizuki? It's fine. Mizuki proofreads the light novels I write. I'm sure she's used to it by now. What are you making her read? Lots of things, like... W wait Mizuki, you don't have to tell him! You nasty. Mizuki, he's tainting your brain. What are you making you read? About Ota. I heard that you fought off the killer and saved Iris. That's so cool, Ota. You have a wound of honor. No, not really. Well, I guess a little. Calling me a hero. It's kind of embarrassing. I didn't call you a hero. It is a good thing Iris was saved, but he's still irritating. Even more irritating than seeing cosplay in public. Mizuki would be better off proofreading Retro and the Bloody Condor. Ooh, nah. Uh-uh, that's how nasty. Have you heard about Iris? The nurse was talking about her a minute ago. That she's still in the ICU? Yeah. Uh, apparently the surgery went well, but she hasn't woken up yet. Hey, Ota, next time we should fold a thousand paper cranes to wish that Iris will get better. Yeah, we could even make her a life-size crane. That would be a somewhat troublesome gift. Yeah, let's go. Wait, you two just got here. It's okay, we saw you, now we can go. Damn. <sighs> we already have Ota's testimony. It is unlikely he has any further useful information. Right. Where to now, Date? 
Hmm, let's see. Marvel. We're about to see Mama. to see mama marble 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 Okay, give me one second chat. Okay. You said I deadass think I got a fever? Uh -oh. So that's the situation. I see. Someone with an injured left leg, huh? I never got to tell you, but I think she's very cute. I could just eat her up. Um, okay. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. I only really want to eat men. <gasps> Date, what are you making me say? Mama. You said that on your own. Oh, come on. Isn't a gentleman supposed to cover for a lady's slip of the tongue? Okay, Mama. Oh. Who is the lady Mama is referring to? I Don't ask me. Iba. Sorry, no idea. Damn. I thought you of all people would know something. I am an informant, but really dangerous information doesn't just come rolling in here. But I promise, I'll keep my eye out for anything. Please do. And if I find something, you have to take a bath with me. Oh! Absolutely not. <laughs> the way she looked oh, at me. Why not? Because the way you she looked take at up me. all the hot water. She said. That's your issue. <laughs> I promise I won't. I'll even take the costume off. It's a costume? Costume? Mm-hmm. And I look good without it. Playing to me. You know anything about the new Cyclops serial killings? I've looked into it, but I still don't have anything useful for you. Mm -hmm. The case is still as fresh as a young man's juices. Mama! What does that She's mean? right here! I have no idea. Yo, mama's a little horny today. She's usually never this crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to hear that. Do you have a problem with gay people? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, the questions. You got a problem with gay people? Not at all. Good. I see gay people on TV all the time, so it's not weird to me. Okay. The LGBT community is rich in sensibility, has excellent taste, and is full of talented artistic people. Okay. And they share a common struggle. It makes them more sensitive and capable of sympathy. That's why so many of them are kind and caring. Oh my and goodness. And they choose how to live their lives on their own terms. It means they have a strong backbone. Damn. So because of all that, I really respect them. They're even kind of cool. Okay! And that means you too, Mama. Oh, I love it. Bravo! Six million yen to you. You can transfer it to my account. The representation, the love. That was a good answer. Still not used to Mama? No, I am. You sure? You still look a little scared. A little? Ha <laughs> ha, scaredy cat. Hmm. <laughs> laughing at me. Yo, yeah, man. because it was funny. I'm going to expose your browser history. No! What? 
seven ways to take home a cabaret girl. Three minutes with a married woman. Stop, stop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How does she know what I'm searching in? Hey, Mizuki. What's inside that backpack you always have on you? Why? I'm just curious. Well... Water, dehydrated bread, chocolate, biscuits, a flashlight, a hand charger, Swiss Army knife, a candle, matches, Ready. triangular badges, a first aid kit, whistle, portable toilet, a plastic bag, duct tape, a grenade, a magnet, disposable hand warmers. Do you have an entire disaster relief yeah, kit in your bag? That's a cool backpack. Better safe than sorry. True. I'm ready for anything. Yeah, I like that. Got a backpack? Perhaps I misheard. But wasn't there an illegal item in there? Right, the Swiss Army knife. Yeah, I'll look the other way. Now let her keep that. You never know. You never know. Yo, Mama, thank you. Thanks for the chat, Mama. Oh, leaving already? Don't worry, I'm gonna be back. I have an soon. investigation to finish, but I'll be back. You are so impatient. Even though you take your time in bed. Oh, Mama. Don't say things like that. In, there or something. in bed? What does that mean? Shh, you don't need to know. Let's go. Mama, you play too much. You're trying to get me in trouble, man. Mizuki right here, man. Stop talking like that. Damn. Talk about bedtime and shit. Yo. Walling out. Date, a call from boss. Shall I connect? Oh no. No, wait. If I take the call, Mizuki might ask questions. Are you talking to yourself again? Do you need to go to the hospital? Exactly. I can put it on speaker. Please. Date, are you with Mizuki right now? Yes, what's up? I need you to come to Abyss headquarters with Mizuki. I was just heading there. Did something happen? Yeah, the head office is here. They want to get information from Mizuki. We here at Abyss have her testimony, but the rest of the MPD wants to hear from her. Mm. They didn't get anything from her last time. They want to do an official questioning. This order comes straight from the top. We don't have the power to say no, so please. You heard her. I don't want to. I want to keep investigating. There's nothing we can do. We can't fight the power of the state. You are the power of the state. Abyss is a toenail on the foot of the state. As far as they're concerned, we don't really do anything, and we don't have any say in what they do. And anytime we get too troublesome, they cut us off. Why? Oh, stupid Date. That's not me. It's the state. It's the government. Sorry for the trouble. Don't worry about it. I'm just a slave to you anyway. Oh, come on. I don't treat you like a slave, do I? Just because I sometimes make you lick between my toes? Oh! Ew, what? Mizuki right here! I didn't lick anything. Anyway, thanks, Date. Oh. And don't worry about Mizuki. I told HQ to take it easy. Mizuki, just make sure you behave and listen. It'll be over soon, don't worry. Besides that, Date, there's something I have to tell you. You have a message from one of the inspectors at the warehouse. Kagari, Mogami, something like that. Kagari, no Kagami. The homie. Kaniza? No, Kagami. Oh yeah, that's it. A message from Kaniza. He wants to give you some information in person at the warehouse. Could he have... The blood results? Yes, the blood results. I'll head over right away. Mizuki, you be a good girl, okay? Ugh. <laughs> Jeez. Bleh. 
All right, just chill there for a little bit, okay? I gotta go see Kagami. Oh, sunset at the Harbor Warehouse. Bro, we go to this warehouse so frequently in this game. I'm telling you, I'm gonna have dreams about this warehouse. Date, sorry to make you come all the way down here, but I have the results of the DNA analysis. All right, Kagami. What did you find? Let me hear it. It's just like you said, there were two different blood signatures. One is definitely from Oda Matsushita. The other... Huh? Well, we got the results, but we couldn't find any matches in our database. No matches in the database. That is not surprising. HQ does not have a complete record of everyone's DNA. Damn. What now? What now? Do not panic. I have a piece of information I think you should know. What is it? I have discovered a suspicious person at your 12 o'clock. 200 yards. I see him! It's the SUI director from Persona 5! He's looking this way. Person? I see that motherfucker! That's... So Sejima. Leave it. Wait, w wait, he's His slipping. Left leg. Huh? Wait, there's no way this old geezer so was in the polar bear suit. Stop! But everything <sighs> links to the mom. <sighs> How was it him? He even had a floral Damn pattern it. knife. <sighs> even the freaking chocolate with her fingerprint was there. She has dementia! It's him. So's the culprit. Calm down. We cannot yet make that conclusion. Things don't add up. He was only dragging his left leg. The left leg was the leg that was hit with the crane. What if he's just an old man? What if he sprained it if he was just at his house? We still haven't seen the mother. But he's been all over this case so far. Shoko and Renju are both in bed with the Kumakuras. And the Kumakuras know so. And not just that. We saw him in Iris' Somnia. True. Still. And he has no alibi. No alibi for Shoko, Renju, or the warehouse. True. Date, calm down. The only thing we have so far is circumstantial evidence. We also do not have any established motive. Why would he kill Shoko and Renju? Why would he cut out Iris' eyeball? Yeah, it, it makes no sense. Well... However, I do agree that so is suspicious. Do you agree with me or not? Yeah, why did he come to the scene? I am explaining to you that we currently do not have enough evidence to bring him in. Confronting him now would only result in him denying everything. We need direct evidence. Direct evidence. The criminal's blood from the cold storage warehouse. If the DNA matches So's... Right. We need to get So's DNA. How? We're gonna, like, jump on him and pull a piece of hair off his head? The question is, how? His hair? But the thing is, is when you're pulling off somebody's hair to get it as DNA, you gotta make sure that it still has the hair follicle on the tip. Where can we get So's DNA? Maybe at the Komakura office? Central Hospital. Maybe at the hospital? Maybe Komakura's office? Hey, Aiba, do you remember when we went to the Komakura's office Sunday? Of course. I am incapable of forgetting anything. Then let me ask you a question. What was on the table in front of the sofa? A cigarette? Maybe it's gonna have his lips on it, saliva, but isn't that a long time already? The cigarette butts. So was smoking those cigarettes. But you think DNA from saliva lasts that long? It, hasn't it been days? Exactly. And so saliva might still be on the butts. If we have that, we have so's DNA. Wait a moment. 
That was two days ago. That's what I'm saying. It's so long ago. The ashtray must have been emptied by now. But there's a chance. We have to at least try. Hmm. I agree. Moma? All right. Let's head there. Moma? Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, God. You fucking with us, old man? <laughs> Date, don't bother. I know. I approached the sofa without saying anything. I looked at the ashtray on the table. Damn, it's been emptied. Hey, where are the cigarette butts that were in here? Huh? The cigarette butts from when I was here a few days ago. We threw them away, of course, dumbass. Where, dumbass? Uh, why do you care about some cigarettes? I need them for the investigation of the new Cyclops serial killings. I see. Just last morning. Last morning? I heard there was a new victim. I didn't watch it, but I heard something about it being streamed online. We're gonna be like, yo, Moma, it was A-Set. Oh no, but he doesn't know that we know A-Set or that the girl is A-Set, and we don't know that he's a fan of A-Set. Poor girl got one of her eyes cut out. I know that, idiot. Sorry. And you're here for the investigation? Yes. So if I cooperate, they'll help you arrest this guy? Correct. Momo's gonna be like, I'm not a snitch. All right. Look around as much as you want. Oh, okay. Huh? That was easy. You said you were looking for cigarette butts, right? Yeah, the one So was smoking. So Sejima? Hmm? You think he did it? No, nothing for sure yet. Hey guys, where's the cigarettes that were in here? Probably in the trash in the back, boss. Let's go. Bring me the one that So was smoking. How do you know which one So was smoking? Yes, sir. Four cigarette butts in plastic bag. Damn! I use disposable chopsticks to lay them out on the table. I didn't touch them. I'm being considerate, I see. But why did you bring four? There were a couple of other cigarette butts in the bin. I didn't know which one so smoked. True. MoMA? I don't remember. But so cigarette is definitely one of these? Yeah, it's gotta be. Date, remember the brand that so was smoking? It says, what is that, a K? I don't even know what the hell it says. Right, he was smoking. I gotta, bro, can I zoom Rombos? in? No. no, it was not a romper. I think it was with a K. Klein. Klein, I remember. So yeah. was smoking a Klein cigarette. Correct. Let's return to Abyss. Pewter should be able to get DNA from it. Got it. Looks like you found it. Yeah, thanks to you. Nah, this was nothing. Thank you, Moma. Anything for Tessa. Oh, wait a minute! He still knows about Tessa! But this is a completely different timeline before he knew about Ace. Anything for Tessa. So... Oh my god, I'm so confused about the flow chart. So he knows about Ace. Tessa? Did you just say Tessa? He knows what she looks like. What, what are you talking about, you Neanderthal? Come on, Momo. I said anything for Tesseract. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Shut up! If you're done here, get your ass going. <laughs> All right, whatever you say. Anything for Tessa, facts. That's why he was so cooperative. Because the second he realized it was for Tessa, he was like, nah, I'm helping whoever the fuck messed with Tessa. Give me one second, chat.
Oh my god, okay. I'm counting on you, Pewter. You can leave it to me. If the DNA on that cigarette butt matches the blood stain in the warehouse, there would be no doubt that So Sejima is our mysterious polar bear. How long will it take to analyze? Mm -hmm. If I had six hours... You've got three. <laughs> That's totally unreasonable, but I suppose... I will do my best to have this analyzed in three hours. You folded pretty easily on that one. I want to catch the criminal as soon as possible. That's all. Now, because time is of the essence... Excuse me. this girl at? How is Mizuki, by the way? They finished questioning her. I had one of the officers take her home. She should be there by now. Good. So, Sejima. I can't believe it, of all people. We don't know that for sure yet. But you saw that his leg was injured, right? It's pretty damning evidence. Don't be too hasty, boss. You were saying the same thing earlier. Anyway, let's wait for the results. That will clear everything up. Yeah, you're right. I hope this won't be trouble. Trouble? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Mm hmm? Hmm? It's a little weird. Is she in cahoots with So? Lots of questions. Lots of fucking questions. Computer, is it true? The results are in? Yes. The DNA I collected from the cigarette butt is a positive match to the bloodstain from the warehouse. So it's so? Really? It was so all along. He was the polar bear. So was the polar bear? But how does that even make sense? He carved out Iris's eye and stabbed Oda. And probably killed Renju and Shoko. Making So Sejima the new Cyclops killer. Thank you, Pewter. Don't thank me yet. Hurry up and get So. But how, how do we even believe Pewter? Pewter could be lying out his ass. Yeah, you're right. It was open from the other side. Boss. Boss, listen. The blood stain in the cold storage warehouse. I know. I got a report from Pewter. Yo, Tony, my man, Nep Nep. Well, then you already know. Nep Nep, my man. Thank you for the party of 10. Yo, mods in the chat. Shout out to my man, Nep Nep. Nep Nep Zilla. Thank you, baby. How you doing? How's your stream? I hope you had a great stream, man. Thank you for coming through. Bro, we've been playing this game all day. We've been doing so many routes. I'm heading there right now. Heading where? Oh, no. Where else? To So's house. Date, I'm sorry, but you can't do that. I knew it. She's in cahoots with So. What? I can't let you get So. Boss, I don't understand. This comes from the top. So and the head office have been tightening it for 20 years now. Ah, it's corruption. Corruption, corruption, corruption. He's so high up in the ranks that, like she just said, he's tight knit with the head office. So even if he does fucked up shit, there's really nothing that we can necessarily do about it just because he has too much power. It's, it's like the Shido situation in Persona 5. Shido's a politician that's so high up in the ranks that his corruption, nobody's gonna oppose it just because he has too much power. They can't go against So's wishes. It's corruption and bribes to be sure, but there's yeah. also some kind of blackmail. Mm-hmm. Fucking A, dude. There's nothing we can do. Blackmail? So knows something. 
something that the public can never know. Mm. If that secret got out, the authority of law would be thrown into question, and the entire police force would be at risk. Mm. So has something on HQ? Yes, almost certainly. Damn. That's why I can't let you go. Do you understand? This sucks. Hell no. I see. Now boss is gonna have to beat our ass because she's doing what she just has to do because you can imagine a higher up most likely told boss, hey, if somebody gets any wind of anything in regards to so and shit happening, you're gonna have to stop them. Then I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to take you off this case. Hey, boss, come on. Are you serious? And Pewter knew about it too. That's why Pewter was on the shits. Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me! I had enough. I pushed past boss and left the room. I walked with a confident stride down the hall with no hesitation. I had made up my mind. I was going to sow Sejima's mansion. Bro, something bad's about to happen to us. I got into my car, turned the key, and slammed my foot on the gas. We're about to get killed. Date, are you sure you want to do this? You still have a chance to turn around. If you put your hands on So, you will never be able to return to Abyss. I don't care. I don't want to work for a rotten organization in the pocket of some politician. Damn. When this is over, I'll open a restaurant in Okinawa or something. Wait! Oh, should I make it a soba place instead? That's not what I mean. You have a video message. A video? Look! <sighs> Mizuki! Oh shit! Are you kidding me? How the fuck they get Mizuki? Bro, she's supposed to be at the house. Bro, how did they get Mizuki? Mizuki. Mizuki! Oh, she's here. Where are you? Is she in the... Is she in the... In the ceiling? Don't worry. I'll find you. Date, not that way. The voice is coming from the opposite direction. She gotta be in the couch. In the speakers. Date. The hollow space in the speaker. Perhaps Mizuki is in there. They put her on my speaker. Mizuki! Dante, hurry! Help her! I know, I know. I gotta break my speakers. You okay? Uh, that hurt, idiot. Pull it off more gently. You're late, by the way. I was about to suffocate, just so you know. <sighs> this is so typical. You're never there when you need to be. Nah, just but like you should have. Just like six months ago. You should have beat that asshole. I was about to miss the bus, and you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, stay like that for a while. I huh? uh, put the tape right back. He said, "Shut your ass up." <laughs> I don't believe this. Yo, he put the tape right back in her mouth. He said, yo, shut up. Damn. Bro, who did this to you? Three men. The doorbell rang and they said they were delivery men. I thought you had bought another one of your weird videos or something, so I opened the door. <laughs> And they sprayed me with tear gas. Did you see their faces? No. They were all wearing masks. It is probable that they are working for So. They may be his bodyguards or hired thugs. It just makes me so mad. If they didn't get the jump on me, I would have... Pow! Bang! 
I believe you too. You would have killed him. Mizuki, I have just one thing to say. Hmm? Never in my life have I bought any weird videos. That's what you wanted to say? Are you okay? I'm not hurt. My mouth stings a little. Thanks to you ripping the tape off my face. If I get fat lips from this, I'm gonna make you pay for cosmetic surgery. Fat lips. Don't girls want bigger lips, though? True. Huh. We know who the culprit is. What? We identified the person inside the polar bear. The man who tried to kill Iris and Ota? Yes. And also, the, the man who killed your parents. Congressman So Sejima. So? Do you know him? Kinda. I've seen him on TV before. But why? I don't know why yet, but it was definitely his blood at the cold storage warehouse. I can't believe it. I'll never forgive him. I'll get him for this. Oh shit. I, I don't think we should have told her. I'm going to So's right now. Mizuki. I'm going to So's house now. Are you leaving me behind again? Do you want to take me with you? I want to beat his ass. No. Not anymore. <laughs> Even if I tried to leave you behind, you'd still come with me, wouldn't you? So are you ready? What should I be prepared for? So's bodyguards will be armed. It might get messy. Bring it. You better punch this man to the moon. Oh my god, dude. Them in the ground. Don't kill them. <laughs> True. We need him alive, and I need you to stay safe. Can you do that? Always. Always? Occasionally. Mm hmm. Anyway, Date, you have to understand. He killed my parents. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. If I turn back now, I'll go crazy. I know. You don't have to say it. Let's go. Five minutes. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. What the hell is about to happen? It's been a lot of fucking plot. Jesus, at night time, 11, 10 p.m.? Thanks for the warm welcome. I came for So. Please, take me to him. What are you talking about? He's sleeping and not taking any visitors. Go home. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I'm coming in. I took one step. And then I felt a shock ripple through my stomach. It was a fist stirring in my gut. Ugh. Just finished I've always the black wanted Rose. to see this I line. Recommend it. It's one of those horror thriller movies I don't recommend watching a bunch of trailers for. Very good until the very, very last minute. Yeah, I, I really want to see that movie. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Nice punch. Well, let me use a line too. This is the end for you, chump. Sejima's order's nothing personal. Damn. That's what I thought. Huh? You're so predictable. What? Uh-oh. Mizuki coming in. <laughs> With the pipe. <laughs> Easy. Who would give this girl a pipe? Nope. We're not even close to done yet. Look. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Bring it on. You guys ever seen the movie Let's The Matrix? This. Mr. Anderson? Bro, there's like a million of these Matrix dudes here. Kill them. Yeah! Date, I'll take care of these guys. You get those, Date. They got guns, though. Are you okay? <laughs> Shouldn't you worry more about yourself, old man? Jeez. I'm off. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Baking him with a pipe. See. There are numerous hostiles. Too many for you and your revolver to combat effectively. So what's the plan? Hmm. Let's see. You said... What? You said AI won? Nah, I'm already so invested into this game. Um, I'm definitely going to get part two. of the pond. Do you remember it? Yeah. Your favorite thing is on that island. My favorite thing? A porno magazine. Nah, not again. What? strike Dutton, load evolver with wire bullets what am I shooting at above us above us why no time to explain just do it why wow, we got so many different bullets Was that? That's supposed to be a warning shot or something? Now throw us the gun. Come quiet. Date, do as I told you. Don't you mean surrender? Do it. Do it or we die. God. Those guys are dead. Barbecued. I collected my evolver from the pond. 
You lied to me again. I have already explained this to you. If you hear the words, porno magazine, your reaction speed increases by a factor of 3.6, a rather convenient function of yours. Why wouldn't I take advantage of it? Damn it. How did you know about the lightning? Satellite imagery, atmospheric conditions, and other factors. However, I predicted the lightning would fall elsewhere, so I had you launch wire bullets to direct the lightning to the pond. Rest in peace, Mr. 305. Yes, sir. Anyway, where's Mizuki? I will scan for her. <coughs> My eyes! My eyes! Mizuki got pepper sprayed! Mizuki! <laughs> hey! Wait for me! I'm coming! Please. I detect trace amounts of capsaicin in the air. Mizuki appears to have been sprayed with tear gas. Again? No. She got hit again with the tear gas? The pipe. This is... Mizuki's metal pipe. Yo, it's fucking teeth! Motherfucker! What? One more step, and we'll be killing this child. He is taking Mizuki hostage. Oh, oh, Date. Yeah, you really think this girl lives. Shit! Date, look around. Mizuki must be nearby. Have you looked on the other side of the sliding door? Not yet, but I know there's another room back there. Oh, we got to hit him. Mizuki! That is so holding her. Son of a bitch is using her as a shield. Why isn't Mizuki fighting back? She does not appear to be conscious. He tear gas. I cannot determine why, but she is breathing. She is alive. I have to do something. Wait, don't move. Why is he holding the gun like that? That looks... Bro, he... Bro, he's not even holding the gun right. Bro. If I was to draw right now how he's holding the gun... Bro, his hand looks like this. And the whole gun is here like this. Like it's just floating. He's not holding the gun right. Remember what So told you. That he can see us somehow. There may be a sensor or something similar in this room. Or I could just shoot him in the head. I would stop that line of thinking. If you shoot now, there is a high chance he will hit Mizuki. Then what am I supposed to do? Let me think. Said they ran out of budget, give him a break. They better not make mistakes like that in part two. They definitely got budget. Who the pipe? Date, load Evolver with spherical bullets. Then, pick up that metal pipe on the floor. It didn't even go in. You need to do two things. First, throw the metal pipe toward the southwest corner of the room. Now, nah, what kind of matrix shit then, is this? Then, immediately shoot a spherical bullet at the pipe. No questions. There is no time to explain. Are you sure this will work? If you time it correctly, yes. My calculations are never wrong. This is dumb. Are you ready? Yeah. Go!
Nah. Nah. You could have moved to the right and pulled her with you. Ain't no way. <laughs> Yo, there's no way. How did I mess up? I did everything right. I did everything right. <laughs> Bro! Is there something different I could have done? We hit him! Mizuki! Uh. Mizuki, move! Do I shoot through Mizuki? I'm gonna have to shoot through Mizuki. Protect Mizuki. Shoot so. What do I do? Protect Mizuki. Damn it. My goodness. Pathetic. Killed by your own father. Huh? By the way, do you like fireworks? Oh. That's Let my me dad? show you the most beautiful firework you'll ever see. But don't blink. It'll only be a flash. Light! Bro, I said the lights aren't on. 
There's no other option. All I could do is shoot. How do you like these fireworks? Date! What? Ooh! Ooh! Through the head! <sighs> I just want to go to the cabaret club. <laughs> What? What did you say? Hey, quit fooling around. Come on. Date, get up! Hey. He shot, yo, hey. he killed Iba, bro. My eye! Like, I, like, I'm preoccupied more about the eyeball. Yo, man, we did all this with, with eyeball. Without, without the eyeball. We're at the hospital. We're all missing eyeballs now. I know even the best of us can be taken out of commission by a simple cold, but I always thought Date was above that somehow. Like a hero. A hero? Heroes are supposed to be invincible. Even if the odds are stacked against them, something miraculous happens to save them. That's what I thought would happen to Date. But instead, here he is. You make it sound like he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry. Date has an artificial eyeball called an AI ball in his left eye socket. That's exactly where So shot him. So it acted like a kind of shield. Iba saved me. Because of that, the bullet didn't go through his brain. Oh my god, Iba saved. Saved Date's saved. life. The surgery to remove the bullet was successful, and now all we have to do is wait until Date wakes up. That's what was supposed to happen anyway. But instead... What happened? Wait a minute, I'm, I'm spectating. I'm making myself sad. I, I'm in, I'm in Mizuki's vision. I remember Date would wake up late at night to watch this one show. It was a girl running towards the camera in slow motion. I didn't get it at all. I wonder if they still have that show. Babe watch? That's Iba. Iba? Yeah, Date's partner. You saw him talk to himself sometimes, right? More like all the time. That was him talking to Iba. Oh. My fucking OBS. Don't worry about that. It's true that Date disobeyed direct orders, but that order basically came from So himself. And he's not going to be a problem anymore, is he? Date won't get reprimanded for this. Oh. Good. So also no longer has his hooks in the MPD. We can finally resume the investigation properly. It's strange, isn't it? The surgery was successful. No EEG abnormalities. But he still hasn't woken up. I think I might know why, but if I'm right, it's nothing any of this medical equipment can fix. The problem lies in his soul. His soul? Something's going on in his consciousness. All the evidence points to So Sejima. Thanks to Date, I think we can finally close this case. Nah. There might even be a promotion waiting for him after this. Nah, there's something off. He's lost somewhere in his own mind. Lost? He doesn't know the way back. Sinking over and over can have this effect. How can he find his way back again? Only one way I can think of. We gotta go back Maybe. into the into the machine. Paging Ms. Shizue Kuranushi. 
Shizue Kuranushi, please come to the nurse's station. Looks like I gotta go. I'll be back as soon as I can. What? While I'm gone, keep talking to Date, okay? You might give him a reason to wake up. See you. Bro? Talk to him. Huh. A bed with my pet lying on it. Date was like a pet cat to me. That's not funny. <laughs> it is it is a little funny. Hey, Date. You're so stupid. You know that? Grade A, first class, king of the idiots. Why did you protect me? It was my own fault. I went into the mansion by myself and then got tear gas sprayed at me by soap. He hit me in the back of the head and I blacked out. This was all my fault. Everything I did was a mistake. But you came to save me. You made me look like an idiot, you know. Oh, wait a minute. I get it. You wanted to scold me, right? After saving me, you're never gonna let me hear the end of it. You suck, Date. Big stupid jerk. Damn. Okay, since we're alone, I'll be honest with you. Earlier, Boss said that you were like a hero, right? I think so too. Deep down, you're a hero to me. You raised me since I was eight. Even when times were hard or you were depressed, you were there for me. The past few days, too. After mom and daddy, I was trying to act like it didn't bother me, but really, I was just holding it inside, staying quiet, pushing my feelings down. And I just took it. I forced myself to be happy, but inside, it hurt so bad. Like I wanted to die, sad and afraid and alone. My heart was about to break, but but because you were there, I was able to fight it. You being there helped me be myself. But if you're gone, Date, I... Yo, shout out to Mizuki's voice actor. Killing these scenes right now, the emotion. Hey, Date, wake up. Come on, wake up! What happened to your promise? You can't tell me you forgot. You promised, Date. We're supposed to eat ramen. Are you gonna break your promise? You're not gonna take me? That's not fair, Date. You liar. And God's a liar, too. I prayed at the shrine. I prayed that you wouldn't get hurt, but... Damn. <laughs> Do you want to save Date? Yes. Then I'll finish my thought from earlier. We're gonna There's have to one get way sink? we can bring back Date. Oh my god. Someone has to sink into his brain and guide him home. Oh my Someone? goodness. Mizuki, I need a favor. Oh huh? nah, we could hang this with shit. Date once before, right? Your synchronization we levels were shit. extremely high. You two are compatible for sinking. No one is more qualified than you. Please, you can't? please save Date. Wait, no, you wouldn't okay. dare. I'll Wait try. a minute, aren't there alternate endings though? Bro, what happened with number 89? There's like a trillion endings.
Yeah, we're going in with longer. with. Oh so my annoying. god! You told me a thousand times. All right, Mizuki, we're counting on you. Leave it to me. Date, hold on. I'll bring you back. I promise. Are you ready, Mizuki? Hmm. Then let's begin. True! How can we sleep without Aiba? We don't even have Aiba! This is my house, but it's in black and white. Is this what's inside Date's heart? Date, where are you hiding? Date! Soup? Huh? There's color over there. So many mental locks. Bring back Date's heart. Date's heart is lost. To bring him back, you need to tell him. I need to tell him my true feelings. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Yo, we're using Mizuki. Is that stew? Stew pickles. Taste it. I'll try eating some. The vegetables and meat are cut too big. Are they always this big? Me? Why? Hey, Date! Everyone's waiting for you! Hey! Are you listening? Date? Don't be modest now. This is my special recipe. Eat it while it's hot. I don't know how I did it, but I think it came out pretty good. Oh. Memories. This is when I first came to Date's house. Date, what happened? Why this? Mm, memories the desk coming back. Colored. So now it's on the desk. Date's corkboard. This picture. A pretty picture of a river. Where is Akikawa Valley? I'd like to go there someday. The police ID. Date's police ID. Kingdom Files, Chain of Somniums. Hold it up. Hey! Respect the badge! Respect the badge! Yup. Just testing what would happen. Not playing around or anything. Date's police ID. I'm not, hold up. Date's computer. Throw it, no. Date's cork. This note. I wonder what this note is. Side... Wop? 
Is this someone's name? A woman? I can't tell. Ugh, useless. Date's handwriting is trash. You have five minutes Date's police ID. Says throw it. Date, get up! Oh, not outside Are the you window. crazy? Jeez, what are you doing? It's because you washed your old underwear with my clothes, dummy! Pervert! I gotta be more careful. If I keep this up, I'm not gonna get off with a warning and a pay cut. I remember this. Trash can. A trash can. Look closer. Oh, maybe this. Hey, your school announced bring your parents to school day, right? Don't you have to tell Renju and Shoko? Wouldn't matter. Hmm. What should I do? Sorry for making you worry about me, Date. from an idol group at Lemniski. L-U-E-42, the answer to the ultimate question. What a weird title. A shelf with records and stuff. Oh. Date, time for your food! Looks like that's not gonna work. He wouldn't be here in the first place. Four minutes, Mizuki. The speaker I was Are you in. all right? Hmm. <laughs> That's my voice. Mizuki! Mizuki! Hold on! I'll find you! I remember being mad at you because you took so long. But after I saw your face, everything felt better. It's at a rabbit. Hug the rabbit. <laughs> I love my at a rabbit. It feels so warm and comfy holding it. How did you know that I would like it, Date? It's at a rabbit. Throw him. What am I doing? I don't want to throw him. He's my special friend. Oh. It's at a rabbit. No, let, let me get the right speaker. A speaker with at a rabbit on top. Listen to it. Hmm. I can't hear anything. It's a speaker. Yeah! Oh my god. Maybe all Date needs to wake up is a good shock. I'll try again. 
Damn. I should stop doing that. The chair where I always sit. to do I've done everything with the bunny the right speaker the chair where I always do I lift it <laughs> nah Dante wouldn't be here he's not a cockroach The chair where I live. Ugh, it's got a butt print on it? Ugh, I wonder if I sit there too much. Oh, the chair is nothing. You'd be surprised, man. Ugly. Add a rabbit is kind of ugly. I mean, at the time I said it was ugly, but. Hmm. I hope this is okay. What if she doesn't like it? I'm home. Mizuki, uh, welcome back. What are you hiding? <laughs> What's that? This? Oh, uh, I, I wonder. I was just thinking that this place looks awfully empty, right? Look, it's perfect right here. Hmm, ugly. Damn! Why would you do that? That's fucked up, bro. Next is... It's my bed. <sighs> Doesn't smell like anything. Good. I can't sleep if it smells like Date. That's fucked up. That's my bed. It's my bed. Date, but I can't sleep anywhere but here. <sighs> Figuring out a dream is tough. What should I do next? Oto would have this cleared in seconds. Now that I think about it, didn't I used to sleep on that sofa? When did that change? Hmm. You have less than two minutes. Hurry, it's Mizuki. My Bro, I have no time. Underneath the bed. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, thank God. No dirty magazines. A door? A door. Open. 
Is Date inside? No, that's not it. The one inside was... Memories of the bed. It's my bed. There's nothing else about the bed that I could do. I'm trying to think. The only thing I could do is the door. A door. Why is Chess saying I did all the options? All right. I'm literally looking at the bed. There's nothing else to do with the bed. A door. Chat calling me dumb. Y'all dumb. Y'all dumb. Mizuki, hey, I'm sorry about eating your pudding without asking. The pudding? About hey, come on, open up. I'm at my limit here. The pudding cup? I really have to go. I'm gonna piss my pants. Mizuki, seriously, come on. Open the door! My man is power knocking. Oh my god, I'm running out of time. Date's bed. Wasn't it sleep? I was sleeping here before though. Said that? Jeez. like sunlight it's the fridge bro I got like no seconds left bro huh nothing's inside probably because this is Date's dream you have less than one minute you have to hurry I'm trying, Dante's I'm trying. Coat. She said, I'm not wearing that. I'm not wearing that. This looks dirty. It smells like him, too. Well, I'm not gonna wear it. I don't want to wear your coat, Date. Taste cook. Smell it. Smell it. I don't know. <sighs> oh, this smells like that bar marble. Ugh. That was kind of creepy. Uh, nope. Nope. Didn't happen. Thought taste. Kick the coat? I don't know. No, that's not right. I'll do it when he's wearing it. That's much better. That's oh. Hey, I got an extra sweet pudding for little babies. You can have it. Oh my goodness. Yo! Watch your mouth! You're living in my house! Nice kick.
Oh my god, I'm running out of time. The backpack. My school bag. Is it the charm? From the this shrine? This is from Mikume Shrine. Okay. Hey, since we're here, let's go into the shrine. I told you, I don't believe in that stuff. Come on, come on! What did you ask for? To leave this boring place as soon as possible. Aww. Tate. Feelings, Mizuki. Thirty seconds. You, you must be out your mind if you think I'm gonna go over there to these two motherfuckers. You, are you serious, bro? Hell no. Date. Shouldn't come to me. Go be with your parents. What? Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't fall for it. No, they're gonna hit me with the times three. Date? Bro, I don't have enough time. I have no time! Date, please, wake up! I am not what you need. No! No, 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 no! I gotta hit it again! Time? No! No way, that sucks. That's not fair, bro. Bro, I literally was right there. They literally hit me with the, the, the swiggity swag. What's in the bag special, bro? They hit me with the... Okay, I made it back to, to phase two. I'm just going to go back here. Left speaker. Speak I got to listen to it, right? Keep it going. Go to this. It's at a Ugly. Door. Knock. Oh my god, that's a lot of points. Hold on. Smell. Four minutes, Mizuki. Door. All right. Knock. Power knock. Hey, come on, open up. I'm at my limit here. Oh, knock that shit. I really have to go. I'm gonna piss my pants. 
Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! My mom and pop. You have three minutes remaining. Be careful. Date? First push. Date. Second push. Time six. Oh no. Nah. Hey. I literally I, lost at the last push. I need you. Mizuki. Imagine he's like, bitch. Thank you, Mizuki. Damn. Date best pop. I wonder what would have happened if we picked our um our Dante, real parents. Date, Dilf Tay, Father Tay. It must have been the most dookie in the butt ending. If we picked our real parents. Game over. Sanpai. Oh, my man Date's up! What the... How did I... get here? Date! Date! Oh, with the block! Hey, why the sudden affection? Because... You're so stupid! Huh? <laughs> You're so stupid! I just want to punch you! Welcome back. Welcome home, Dante. Good end. Yeah. I'm home. Where's Iba? Nah, bro, we need another Iba right now. Where's Iba? Oh, this is a, actually a good ending. Not a bad ending. But we lost Iba. It way better than Iris's route. Actually, I'm skipping this. That was a good ending. Skipped ED. Yo, I 
Papa's right there in her arm. Even I be clapping. No point in talking to myself. Let's not. It look like I'm going crazy. Let's not. I don't want to talk to myself like a crazy person. Absolutely not. Hey, me. Let's play a rhyming game. You're on. I'll start. Thick. Tits. Lips. Hips. Dante! You're really sticking to one subject there. Are you certain he was cleared to leave the hospital? <laughs> Yo, he's so silly. Who is this guy? It's Dante, I had to say it. I was looking at a gorgeous man. The case has been settled. So Sejima was confirmed to be the new Cyclops killer. What was his No crimes motive? similar to the MO of the Cyclops killer have been reported since Sosajima died. Why did he want the eyes? But we still don't know his motive. Yeah! Why were those three chosen as targets? And why hollow out the left eye? It is the opinion of the lead investigators that that behavior was simply the result of So's sadistic, sociopathic nature. I don't like that. I don't buy it. Yeah, I don't like that. I agree. Nah. I need an explanation oh. for that. Sorry, Mizuki. Because those things were very specific. No, it's fine. Like, that's a shitty explanation. I do not believe in the existence of God, but, being that we are at a shrine, I felt it necessary to go with the tradition. What did you pray for, Date? I didn't ask for anything. I just said thank you. Thank you for saving my life. Pardon me, I believe there is a misunderstanding. It was I who saved your life, not God. I was the one who stopped the bullet. That was completely by chance. Wait, do you even remember that? I do. Everything that I see is uploaded to the cloud, all wirelessly, in real time. Even if my body is totally destroyed, my data is backed up and never lost. That includes my memories, as well as my central programming, which governs my artificial intelligence. Though, I do not have any information from after being shot. Do you know what Date said right before he lost consciousness? No. What did he say? I said, Mizuki, I'm so glad that you're safe. No, you didn't. <laughs> you were moaning about wanting to go to a cabaret club. <laughs> that sounds like Date. Oh my god. It is more comfortable than your eye socket. You can sit here anytime you want, okay? Just hide if you see someone coming. The world's not ready for you. There's one thing I haven't told you yet, Date. What is it? Five days after the first incident, on Tuesday, I think, I saw So on my way home from the police station. Where? I was getting dropped off at home. Was he alone? No. Someone was walking next to him. Ike. My homeroom teacher. Homeroom teacher? She's also my mom's best friend. It's... Uh, it's a long mom. story. I'll tell you later. No, tell me now. I don't want to. Why not? Because I'm hungry. I'll tell you over food. Let's get some ramen. What did you pray for? That you die soon so that I can collect your life insurance money. You wouldn't get a dime. <laughs> wow. Ota was discharged from the hospital. He's doing fine. Nah, fuck Ota. Iris is still in the hospital, though. I heard. I hope she gets better soon. Yeah. You said, how do people missing an eye always keep their eyelid closed? Just keep it closed. Let me see. You're just like this the whole time, bro. You just chilling, bro. It's not that hard. You should be like, hey, you coming through? Keep your eye closed and you can come through. Or you can open it up and then you can look like Fetty Wap and be like, 1738. Hey, I said, hey, what's up? Hello. All right, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. 
You haven't said it yet. Said what? Thank you for saving your life. <laughs> I don't recall hearing a thank you from you either. I saved your life before too, you know. Well, fine. You don't have to say it. I know that you love me. Who said anything about loving you? Damn, Date. Oh, you don't remember? When we were at Soas, you were saying, Mizuki! Mizuki! You sounded really concerned. I wasn't saying Mizuki. I was saying my new skis. Yeah, I was thinking about hitting the slopes later. My new skis. Nice cover. Date, you're a total tsundere. Oh. A tsundere. One who appears cold or hostile initially, but eventually shows a warm or friendly side. That describes Date That's both perfectly. Of I don't want to hear it coming from you two. What? What do you mean? They really don't see it, huh? All, all three of us are tsundere's. Get out of here with that. Doesn't matter. Let's get going. Where? You know. We're gonna go eat that awful ramen. Mm. Really? Yay! Ramen, yummy. I actually want some ramen. I would love some ramen with an egg, some nice meat slices in there. Mmm. Oh, Mizuki route ending, silver trophy. Yeah, this this route was a way better ending than Iris's route. Oh my god, we got so many more routes that we have to do, chat. Because we still don't know the full context of why So wanted to do all the things. And then freaking, um, we don't know anything about number 89. Um, Iris's mother is all types of involved with all this fuckery. There's so much things that we don't know. There's a split off here. This is where we have to go to the other um side of the shit. The other... I guess the other shelf. The other shelf? Holy shit. I saved, right? Hold on, man. Let me go over here and then let me save. Do the red route next. I did do the red route. I can't lie, this one was my favorite, um, the superhero one with Ota, this one was unironically my favorite one, just because Ota's a fucking idiot. The music is fire. This one is my favorite one. Is this a cold storage warehouse? Seems to be. Not a manga cafe or otaku shop? No, but a warehouse is a commonly used location in live action you, dramas. Now we're going to continue playing it next time because this, I did some research on Ota's I definitely taste. want to get the other routes in. Hold on. No, I'm not trying to save. I'm not trying to save. I'm not trying to Say he's still going? Nah, you crazy. It, it's 1.30 in the morning. I want to sleep. But yeah, so we're going to do this route. We got to go to the other way. Um, I guess once we unlock this one and we get to a specific ending, then potentially maybe this one is going to unlock. 
and or this one is going to unlock. I feel like this one here is going to split off into two paths. So green cabinet this time, yes, I think it's the green cabinet. Izuki's ending was good, I actually like that ending a lot. That was a good ending. Not gonna spoil, but Iris ending needs context from other endings. I bet, because honestly, I feel like we didn't get enough information with um, Iris's shit. Oh man, look at all these cool games that I still want to get. This shit right here looks like it's gas, man. I want to play this game. This game looks so fucking cool. And then we got um, mid-year sale. Bro, they got Sekiro on sale again. Sekiro's on sale again, bro. Remember how many times I kept saying I wanted this shit to go on sale? And once again, it's on sale, dude. They got Guilty Gear. Hades is on sale. This is another game that a lot of people was like, when you start playing this shit, you're going to get so addicted to it. Hades looks like it's fucking cool as hell. I feel like I would really like this game. The graphics look really nice. Like the visuals. Finish Dank Bowls. I don't even want to touch Dank Bowls for a while. Because you know why Dank Bowls mechanics is mad dated. Compared to Elden Ring. Elden Ring you could run. You could jump. You could do all types of shit. Not in Dank Bowls. In Dank Bowls you're like stuck. You're stuck walking around like a bitch. Mad sluggish. Dookie ass boss fight. I still gotta fight that stupid ass butterfly with the bullshit, um, with the bullshit, like, you know, timing of it landing. Terrible. You said, why can't I see the VOD for this stream? Um, cause it's not up. I I'll post it up right now when I end it. Okay, so chat, thank you guys again for coming out to the stream. Um, there was a VOD last time I deleted it because apparently we ran into some um, very unfortunate shit on Twitter. We, we ran into to, to just straight gobble, gobble, gobble dicks. Um, stay holding. And we got 1,500 orbs. What unit are you trying to get? chat Assuming you talking to me, you said uh, it's for Choose Your Legends Tiki. Choose Your Legends? Um, shit. Are you talking about, yo, I'm going to have to see. How do you even know about um, Choose Your Legends Tiki? But anyway, chat, I'm about to head to bed. Um, you guys relax for the night, okay? Okay, okay. Thank you guys for coming out. Y'all are amazing. Have a good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. And I'll see you guys later, alright?
Peace out, my brothers and my sisters, right? I'll see you guys again real soon. Most likely tomorrow, okay? Is the VOD being saved? Yes, yes. Don't worry. It's going to get posted. All right? Have a good night, bros and sisters. Aight.